Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum Adventures, where we're going to head to Sunny Shore, beat the final gym, hopefully, unless it's just an absolute brick wall of a gym, and see if we can make it through whatever this Victory Road equivalent is, and maybe beat the Elite Four, unless I <laughs> am utterly annihilated by them. That is always a possibility. Speaking of that, I should probably... Well, at the same time, I guess I should have, like, a decent, like, healing and stuff for Sunny Shore. And after I beat Sunny Shore, I can go to the store to pick up, like, Max Revives or something. We start here, just because it's faster to get to... Hmm. What would this be faster? I mean, we've never gone up here. Any random Pokemon we run into will probably be easy to annihilate. That's uh, just a single item. <laughs> we got Roar! Now, if we want to be the, the... The... What is it? The legendary beasts. Throw people away. We can. I feel like Roar would be a handy ability to have in, like, a Pokemon game where you played as a wild Pokemon and trainers, like, came up to you like, I'm gonna catch that wild Pokemon! And you're like, no, blast them away. Also, it just came to mind some just utterly fun TM Nintendo emulation news hit a few days ago. Nintendo sued the Nintendo Switch emulation devs of Yuzu. And then apparently the Yuzu devs capitulated because, according to what people are saying, uh, actually might have been justified. What with paywalling early access builds of their emulator that caters to a pirated, leaked early version of uh, Tears of the Kingdom that broke street date. Very bad. Apparently the development team had a... Google Drive of ROMs they were sharing around. Very bad. <laughs> I was going to join on Twitch for giggles, but it requires a phone number and I'm too lazy to do that. Ain't that a mood? Well, let's make our way. Well, first things first, I should decide who should be in front. I guess I'll throw Silas in front. Also, I should probably check and see if everybody has the equipped items I want them to have, just in case. Uh, fist plate, that's good. Odd incense, that should be good. Black glasses, shell bell, amulet coin. We might look at for a better item for you. Magnet should be good. Wish there was a way to be like, hey, can I double check the item? Right then and there. Because shell bell heals, amulet coin. So yeah, the only ones I really want to check are maybe... A better item for water, for Lancelot, maybe a better item for Nova. So let's just go through the items we have and see if we want to give anyone anything. Dubious Disc, it's just... I have no idea what that's for. Uh, no, no. Full Incense? <laughs> it is the... And it, ah! A held item by a Pokemon, so like... Good for waiting things out, getting a second... Uh, going second or making sure that your first Pokemon in a double battle hits. Repels heat and boosts ice type. Mm, no, soft sand for ground moves. We don't have a ground type. Mm. <laughs> Almost four times over odds for Groudon hunting. I'm so sorry. Shiny hunting is evil. Any kind of RNG hunting in games is evil. If I really wanted to spite Cynthia, I could probably give this to my boy, uh, Silas, to power up his, his, dr uh, what is it, Dragon Pulse. <laughs> hello, hello to the Twitch chat. I'm just quickly looking at all the items I have, because I want to give anything to, but it doesn't seem like it. Ooh. <laughs> now this makes me wonder. Is a stone plate that boosts the power of psychic type moves. Is that better than the odd incense? Well, I guess we'll swap and then take because mind plate it would make sense to use the Arceus plates in this game. 
Yeah, boost the power of psychic type moves. That's just kind of funny. Ah, dubious disc is to evolve Porygon 2 to po or uh, 2 or Porygon Z. And funnily, I do have an upgrade. If I did one or two. But uh, nope, doesn't look like there's... Well, oh wait. Uh, quick Claw. I can give Quick Claw to... Uh, grip Claw? No, I want Quick Claw. Uh, I want to give my Quick Claw to... Nova. So that Nova can have an actually good battle experience. <laughs> my Chimchar hasn't had a good day. Dude's been hit by three rollouts. Pain. <laughs> Well, let's fight you. I presume fancy man. I need to escape these doldrums. You can keep me company. I will not, I'll have you know. While we fight our first rich boy, Trey, <laughs> remember to stay uh, hydrated out there. I guess we'll go all out. Close combat! I did minor bit of leveling grinding, but it only like raised like levels once or twice for most of my people. Get out of here, Luxray! You're dead. That did liberate me from the doldrums, but at what price? <laughs> Games just loaded a gun and started your revive a seeds a gun. <laughs> that does feel like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And hello, hello to YouTube chat. We're on our way to Sunny Shore. To try and... Uh, definitely should swap out. Because <laughs> I don't want to give it a chance. Knowing my luck, that Polypro will be like, surprise, I'm going to annihilate your Silas. <laughs> well, I followed you on Twitch if that means anything. <laughs> Always nice. And I thank you for it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Nah, you're not really that late. We've only been going for like uh, seven minutes. Again, I wonder what the ethics or like... Would it be taboo to hydrate from a water-type Pokemon? Like, you'd think that would be a, a great thing for like a... Uh, buh 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 For like a survivalist, like I'm out here camping in the wilderness. So I've got my Oshawott with me. <laughs> and now my brain went in direction. Now when I make out with my Oshawott, I can stay hydrated too. Wow, well, the world of Pokemon. Such possibilities. Remember to stay hydrated either way. Hello, beauty. Uh, you standing here on the road? After enjoying a meal at the hotel restaurant, one has a battle. That's the social etiquette. Oh, that Lop Bunny's gonna die. Yeah, but where do Water-type Pokemon pee? Probably normally. Unless, like, maybe Shelter is the exception. Who knows? It's the world of Pokemon. It makes you ask such interesting questions. Goodbye, Lop Bunny. Enchanting. I think that was sarcasm. Of course, there's an item there. I want that item. It's probably gonna have like the god plate. It's gonna have a thermonuclear warhead. Well, it's a four. A, a, a four? A full restore. Well, what's down here? <laughs> Just a, a series of people that I can annihilate, I guess. All right, who do, who do I want to annihilate them with? Let's see. Uh, who do I want to annihilate them with? Uh, could use some leveling for in Indigo. We'll put s Amp up here. Swap between them occasionally with all these water types that are presumably gonna die. Hi, Traveler! How would you like to battle? <laughs> uh, how do you even have a level 42 Magikarp? Then where does the Blastoise, or however you spell it, pee? Well, it's kind of a turtle. Probably wherever Turtle does. 
You're not even gonna give me much experience, are you? Because you're just a stupid magic cop with the sp spaghetti noodle hair. 180. That is insulting. At least you're gonna send out a Gyarados. You know what? Just for wasting my time, I'm gonna send out Amp for that four times annihilation. And you're probably gonna try and do an earthquake or something, because Gyarados is just a nightmare who's just like, I exist to do everything. For some reason, there are just some Pokemon that have a million moves. Get blasted, Gyarados. How about you, Gyaradai? How are you even named Gyarados? There's only one of you. You busted this fisherman, traveler. You are just a weird man. I'm getting bored at fishing. Let's have a quick battle. Well, you're gonna probably drown yourself after this. You are deserving of being choked with your fishing line. I'm going to beat you to death with your own fish. I will I will cook you up and feed you to them. Because this is just torture. This is animal abuse. Where's the Pokemon League handing out fines to these fishermen that only just send out Magikarp just as punishment? They send out a Magikarp. Magikarp exists. It's just like, I'm a Magikarp. I only know Splash. Help me. It just gets annihilated. Animal cruelty. I just feel like it's evil, man. Huh, I wonder. Because you're part flying, does magical grass not do anything to you? I, I want to know. I don't think you can do anything to annihilate Indigo, but let's do some science. Huh, science. How does a Gyarados dance? It is on land. Is it just a giant snake? Psychic attack. Goodbye. I have the mind plate. I'm gonna bash you over the head with it with my magical power. And a Finion. A Funion. <laughs> like, what the fuck is the safety procedures for a Dynamax Pokemon in a battle? Well, if, like, uh, if it's in an arena, like I've seen a lot of Dynamax Pokemon, it's probably set up procedures, but if you can just Dynamax out in the wild, I feel like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that could be a problem. We have the Pokemon League want to make sure that you can't, like, use HMs without the proper badges, but, uh, sure, if you want to, like, Mega Evolve, you want to Dynamax, go crazy. Well, I am fishing, but very well, I accept your challenge. All these fishermen brothers, <laughs> they're just gonna have the experience. Again, animal cruelty. Like, what's stopping them from, I don't know, crushing the stadium? Maybe it's a very, very well-designed stadium. Maybe those stadiums existed for five million years. We've stood nuclear winters. And they're like, eh, I can stop a Pokemon. Then again, just look at the... The, the, the gyms. With all these attacks flying around, presumably Pokemon being thrown around, you'd think that there would be a lot of structural damage to buildings. Just normally. You throw out, like, an Onix, a Giratina. You use Surf five times in a row. Should flood an entire building. It would be utterly annihilated. Ah, the Pokemon I wanted, but I chose a water type. But this is my starter. So I couldn't exactly justify getting you. Damn it! Did save me from having to make more puffins, though. A bittersweet smile is on my lips. I don't even think you can smile. It's not in your design. If I stare at the water's surface for too long, I begin to forget what I was doing in the first place. I think you should stop being a fisherman, then. That doesn't seem healthy. Finally! Someone who actually cares about their Pokémon. 
at the very least, didn't send out a Magikarp to start. And, of course, we're just going to annihilate you, Psychic. And, dang it. Survived with only pixel health. Then again, this is also like the Pokemon world, where, like, two members of authority let, like, a ten-year-old come along with them on a criminal, like, organized crime base rush. So it's just kind of like, can we even trust anybody here? Get magical leafed, Remoraid, who is just a fish. But while we annihilate some, like, fishermen and this inner tube child that we're about to go murder, I have finally started to sketch the like, uh, main art of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity team that I'm planning to get. Oh, woe is me if I have a last-minute, like, change of decision like I did with Explorers of Sky. Because, like, with Explorers of Sky, I was originally just going to play normally, go with uh, Eevee, Riolu, Eevee player, Riolu partner, and then I was like, wait a minute, this, like, uh, this mod that I'm, or, like, a ROM hack I'm going to play has the option of playing as a Zoroa. I'm gonna do that. So it's kind of a good thing that I hadn't, uh, chosen... Well, hadn't, uh, drawn my team just yet, or else I'd have to go back. And fix it. Listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokémon you have? I will show you. They will murder you with gusto. Ha, Tuber Holly. It is a single Remoraid. I feel like this is overkill. Then again, that is a very leveled Remoraid. I feel like it should have evolved by now. Die. <laughs> Part of me wanted my Galar team to fight Volo. Show him the power of technology and Dynamax, old man. Just make Volo fear postmodern technology. Have Ingo chase him down with a train. Once more, uh, is there an island? Is uh, an island? Is there an item behind this rock, or is it just there to taunt you? It's just there to taunt you. I guess I could have just used the ba 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 item finder. Pikachu fan club. I do not have any Pikachu. Interesting that they're actually having that move. Da -da -da -da. I love this route music. When I first started fishing, catching anything made me happy, but those days are long gone now. Now I get annoyed if I can't beat my record by even an inch. Isn't that just, like, everything in life? It starts out new and fantastic, and then, like, you start putting expectations on yourself. And if you don't match those expectations, you, like, you, you want to murder. Again, why do people just drop these pretty expensive Pokeballs out here? Hello, Shadot. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm gonna kill you. I will show you the power of lightning and thunder. For some reason, my mind jumped to a... Raiden from a Metal Gear quote. I am Raiden. The, oh no, I am lightning. The rain transformed. Just random lightning strike. I don't think he had arms in that scene. The Pokemon size context. Big Pokemon wanted. If I wanted to, I could bring Giratina. Just crush the competition. Probably literally. So this is what a crazy cat lady in this world looks like. <laughs> I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with my little Pikachu. Well, they're worse. They're worse Pokemon to choose for that, I guess. You lunatic. Put uh, you back up in front. <laughs> Kill him. Do what I wanted to when he ta <laughs> taxed Lost Ember. But if we do that, then however will our beloved leader Wigglytuff get his perfect apples? The only items you ever throw are Pokeballs. But is that true? I want people to think about it. That's why I gave give away this technical machine fling. Then technically it's not you doing the flinging, it's the Pokemon. 
Using that move, the Pokemon hurls whatever item it's holding at the foe. The move's effect depends on what item is held. Remember, the move fling flail fails if the Pokemon has isn't holding anything. Well, time to beat up a cop, I guess. Oh, I thought you were gonna fight. I can't explain it. I get more easily agitated at night. So I guess if I come back at night, I'll fight you. Well, time to fight. Look, look, look at my Pokemon. It's really cool. Your Pokemon's about to die, kid. Oh, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. That's the way of the sailor. Way of the sailor. Sing it! I'm not going to be on a boat with you. That feels like kidnapping. Oh, look at that adorable little man tyke. It's literally called Tyke. <laughs> it's a small child. It's gonna die. Eh, uh, die to the Rimmeraid. Magical leap to the man tyke. Murder all around. If they had more Pokemon, I would have swapped out it, uh, Indigo. Oh, you... Ha, huh, that didn't work. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what your typing is, then. Are you inexplicably a normal type? Either way, <laughs> now you're gonna have two Pokemon gunning for you. Not the water pulse. I still don't understand why water pulse causes confusion. Well, either way, psychic. Get blasted. Man Tyke is water and flying type. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> they like doing that, don't they? It's like, here's Gyarados, here's Man Tyke. I guess it makes sense. Wow, we I know hold on tight I'd hold on tight to my inflatable tube. Your Pokemon, they're looking good. Aren't they always? And we'll swap Amp in because this will be a another Sailor Man. My dream's a big one! I wanna battle every kind of Pokemon from around the world! Go talk to a professor, they'll wanna give you a Pokedex for free! One thing I think about is the partner Pokemon is just so innocent and sweet. Reminds me of myself from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Also, I'd imagine just them wanting to adopt every cute Pokemon he sees. They do give that kind of vibe, just utterly sweet. Too pure for this world cinnamon roll. I, wa I wonder what would happen if they made, like, a jerk Pokemon partner in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Gastrodon, I completely forget. I guess we'll keep out? Oh, wait. That's a bad choice. I just remembered what you are. You're a motherfucker is what you are. We are, like, in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, I wonder what they do if they, like... We're gonna write, a like, a jerk partner Pokemon. So they have to, like, warm up to you. They'd, knowing the world... A lot of players would be like, I hate my Pokemon partner, he's so mean to me. They're just like, that's the point. They, 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 it's a character arc. It's the point. You can't have an arc if you begin them at the end. And I'm a choke. Hmm. Okay, because you leveled... Ah, let's throw out Nova for Annihilation. Use Crunch instead of Bite. Yeah, but a bite has the ability to flinch. And I like that. It's fun. Plus, I'm not really scared of these guys. So just in case. Get blasted. Also, during my grinding, Nova learned uh, Brave Bird. I figured stab on a 120 power move. Nice. I lost, but I am one step closer to realizing my dream. That you are. Or are you? Dun dun. Sunny Shores gym leader Volkner's been bored lately, I hear. We need tough challenges to visit so he doesn't get bored. People get up to no good if they have too much time on their hands. What, is he gonna join Team Galactic? If I had to describe Sunny Shore gym in a word, it'd be shockingly electric. Whoops, that's two words. Shockingly electric, huh? Volkner, I guess? Or why, why do you look like a clown? 
Yo, fellow trainer, your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs, but there's no masking that aura of serious toughness. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. The name's Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Your hair looks like a clown's. I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost in his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challenges worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, hotshot. I'm going to annihilate him. So does Crunch, doesn't it? Uh, doesn't Crunch make Pokemon flinch? I thought that it said that Crunch has the ability to lower their speed or something. Let's see. Uh, bup, bup, bup. It may also lower the target's defense stat versus it may make the target flinch. It's entirely possible that the flinch is also implied with Crunch. But I feel like that's kind of the choice of this. It's like, this is more powerful, but doesn't make flinch. This is less powerful, but does flinch. I think that's supposed to be the trade-off. But then again, Pokemon things does not always make sense a lot of the time. Eh. I'm just going by thoughts. I could be wrong, though. It is just my inference. My inference can be wrong. This is a major port town, and it's the getaway to the Pokemon League. Uh, getaway. The gateway to the Pokemon League. Well, no problem. I'm always happy for advice from the people. Advice is always fun and nice. So long as it isn't spoiler without being like, hey, would you like advice? But it's a spoiler kind of thing. I like to have options. And helpful chat is always nice. I don't expect you to be 100% right all the time. We're only human. To make up for the lack of space, the city built roads out of solar panels. The solar panels provide us with clean energy and they're good roads. It's a symbol of Sunny Shore's will to survive, I think. If I remember correctly, I think, like, uh, solar panel roads aren't all that efficient. They can break more easily, but still, this is supposed to be a fantasy. <laughs> if only more places had solar panels. It'd just be nice. Or just like any kind of renewable energy systems built in. The city uses up a lot of electricity, especially the lighthouse and the gym. They finally decide to turn all the city's roads into giant solar panels. Sunny Shore is the sun 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 sunshine city, so the system works perfectly. We'll definitely go walking around, find the gym, annihilate some people. What the fuck? I guess this is... Why are there just three clones standing over there? The underground man in a turn and Byron of Candlelight are related, and add Byron's son, Rourke, and you have a trio of dedicated diggers. Some underground traps need to be diffused by touch or by using the microphone. Have you gone underground lately? Depending on where you go, you might end up in different places. That's why I use my Explorer Kit as much as I can in any place. And what's this? A market, a selection of the world's seals. Oh, I don't care about seals. Whatever the environment, people in Pokemon adapt to live there. Unless it's Ore. <laughs> That's what we all do to survive. Unless it's Ore. It's a blank sign painted white. That's weird. Julia's house. Delightful ribbons for Pokemon. I heard uh, that Team Galactic was up to no good, but here in Sunny Shore, we've never even seen any of them around. Of course, our gym leader Volkner is invincible in every way. A long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to shun others, and he preferred the company of machines. He was a brilliant student, I recall. I ever wonder what became of him. He's stuck. He's stuck in the, the distortion realm. He went to hell, literally. That giant rock, isn't it really a Pokemon? Well, it looks like Pokemon Rock, Sunshore's heritage site. It looks like a Pokemon, doesn't make it a Pokemon. Hey, a Thunderstone. If you really wanted a Jolteon, it would take you forever to get here. Knock, knock. Open up the door, it's me. That glaringly bright and cool thing you have, it's undoubtedly a Poketch. The latest model, no less. They're awesome, yeah? I got okayed by the Poketch company to develop original Poketch apps. Hey, you're a trainer, right? Can you do me a favor? You've got Pokemon with different natures, right? May I see them? I'd like to see Pokemon of a serious nature. I don't think I have one. 
Goodbye. <laughs> I still haven't hatched a shiny Rialu. Now that makes me wonder, and like, uh... In later Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, I think, like, at least DX Rescue Team, they made it so that, uh... Buh, 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 that, uh, shiny Pokemon can appear. I wonder if it's at all possible for, like, the partner or hero to be shiny. Probably not, but I think that'd be hilarious. The gym leader uses too much electricity! He needs to think about the city's power needs, too! Can I fight a bunch of people in here? <laughs> Probably have more than 300 Rialu now because of all of that. <laughs> you have just an entire thing. I'm just gonna assume that's Volkner. I love how far away you can see if the binoculars. I'm gonna go that far away with my Pokemon one day. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and protection to us sailors. So you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. All right, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm gonna challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Be that as it may, you're still going to die. I don't know if I have anyone super good at taking on electric types, though. Like, I don't think I have anything that's super effective. Let me look at my Pokemon. Uh, nope, I don't think I have any super effective against, uh, like, uh, electric types. But at the same time, I don't think I have too many that are weak, except for Lancelot and Nova are definitely weak to electricity, but I'm not sure. Hmm, this could be tough. Whatever the environment, yeah, we already talked to you. The person who's never went to Ore before. Oh, wait, I, I need to go to the left, I think. I'm a dumb, a dumb, a fool. I'm a meringue. Yeah. Let's see. I guess I can have amp out to, like, tank stuff, but... We'll try to get other people in, and then amp will be our, like, crunch master at the end. Yo, hiya! He's finally come back. You seem to be feeling upbeat, too. I have a hunch that you recognize your toughness right away. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot it'll reignite his passion for battling. All right, Hotshot. I'll be waiting at the Pokemon League. That makes me wonder. Can, like, gym leaders not challenge the Pokemon League? Or are they just not supposed to? Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Let me check out your po trainer case. Let's see how many badges you have. One, two, three. Wow, wow! You've already got seven. That means you can beat this gym leader. You're on your way to the Pokemon League next. That also means this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo. Listen carefully one last time. The gym leader here is a master of the electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. The rest is up to you. Fight me! That quick shine those badges. <laughs> that would take so long though. Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure you sure now? <laughs> if I released Galar's Rialu population would skyrocket. <laughs> you would create a trophic cascade. Or a sphere! Well, that's not good. If I can't one-shot these normal guys, then the dude might be a problem. But luckily, the steel nature of Silas isn't that... Why does a school kid have a hyper potion? Well, while we go on to hell, remember to stay hydrated. Hydration is important. Aura Sphere! Aura Sphere! Aura Sphere! The Pachirisu in the corner. Please stop!
Get obliterated, kid. The gears spin round and round, I spin down and out. How did a kid ha get a level 47 Pachirisu anyway? Are you a Nepo baby? Seriously, how do these kids get these fucking abilities? Huh. Quick, fight me! I want to win that desire I pour into my guitar! I want to win that passion compels my Pokémon! You are not going to win. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to bash you over the head with your own bullshit. I wonder how this works. Go. I'm curious. It's a ghost type. Why, is the, why does steel def deflect it? That, that annoys me for some reason. Why does steel just resist everything? <laughs> if you think that's boy, rich, uh, uh, if that's bad, rich boy Winston used a full restore on level four Zigzagoon. But at least that makes sense. Like a level four Zigzagoon, but he's rich, so he can like <laughs> pour out some great healing for his Pokemon. That at least makes some sense. Nam. How dare you try to crunch me? I am uncrunchable. Crunchitize this, Captain. Get obliterated, kid. And you're gonna send out another Luxio? You're just gonna feed Shine. Nom. This is just a bite off at this point. At least we know we're not biting off more than we can chew. <laughs> We couldn't win. No encores for us. No one wants to listen to your your rap, kid. Ah, now I understand. I did need to do this so that we can go whippity doo da, whippity day, murder Dave, kill Dave. Dave does not deserve to live. And then more than likely we'll just have to run on out of here at the end too. Heal up our Pokemon. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. I don't really... Well, I mean, look at me. I don't really have battle techniques. My battle techniques are die. Get obliterated, hopefully. How dare you X-Speed. But I'm curious. I want to see you. But it's still steel. That's dumb. <laughs> and you're, you used an X speed and your Magneton is still slow. So that is just very annoying. There's like, we're a steel type, but we're not gonna conduct electricity. How dare you? How dare you just invalidate everything except maybe ground attacks? Oh, hey, try attack We haven't seen you before, I don't think. Why'd you use Thunderbolt when you had that? Why are you a weirdo? P a critical hit at the end, of course. Exactly what we required. And I'll level up for Amp. Yeah, I think Amp is gonna be our go-to anti-electrician. <laughs> Who else? I guess back to Silas. Although maybe we can go and heal up Shine. Since we're only two, two rooms in. Off we go to heal. Also, maybe Faulkner isn't uh, the most social person in the world because you put him on a mountain. 
Maybe if you like put his gym make his gym the power company. Boom, he'll have all the power he wants. Then again, he likes to renovate his gym, so the the entire city would be without power every single time. He's like, I want to move things around. I want to move my couch. <laughs> the Luxray Death from Pokemon Let's Go film still stabs my heart. There's a Pokemon Let's Go film? <laughs> Can you blame me, though? Pokemon is very good at stabbing at the heart a lot of the time. But yeah, there's a Pokemon Let's Go film? I didn't even know. And I remember as you play it cautiously, stay hydrated so that you can, I guess, resist the electricity through sheer volume of water. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Let me guess, is that a creepy psycho person dressing up as a Pikachu? It'd be amusing if there was just a random Pikachu we have to beat up. Look at the way I'm dressed. Can you see? Uh, can you see that I'm hardcore? I'm gonna throw you into the gears. They'll never find your body. Why do you have four Pokemon? Presumably. Or Pikachu! Or a... How dare you faint? Or a sphere, die! Obliteration for you. Alright, which Pikachu is next? Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. I'm just gonna keep using Aura Sphere. Die! I'm dying. Aren't we all dying in some way? One more Pikachu and you level up, Silas. We don't use, like, uh, experience points. We use Pikachus to denote how far you are from leveling. And all of them are the Heart-Tail female Pikachu, which really is just dedication. How many male Pikachu did you have to leave out? Extreme speed, do I really care? I have my close combat, I have my aura sphere, I have dragon pulse, and then I have my brick, uh, like a uh, rock brick. I can't get a new move, extreme speed's gone. I got a new shelf to put all my shit on and it's painful. I have too much stuff. Eh, uh, too much stuff is a big thing. Let's see, another Pikachu, who do we want to send out? And really? Let's send out Shine. Try to get him some experience. Because he'll be one of the tanks of taking some damage if I need to, like, revive somebody else mid-fight. That's the second time we've tried to do that. Well, not you specifically, but second time a Pikachu has tried to do that. And, of course, <laughs> ah, you attack the Pokemon. You're paralyzed now. How dare you. I was being serious. Don't laugh at me. I mean it. You are still going into the gears. God himself will not save you. Into the gears with you. Prepare for the real gears of war. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your mad skills. What about my mad kills? That will soon involve you. Richie long hair man. I need to go eat. Be back soon. Hope the meal is nice and delicious. Let's see how bad that Thunderbolt is on a normal Pokemon. Honestly, not that bad. Of course, you're paralyzed and can't move. Damn you. Now, this is just mean. Game, you're being a bastard. Two in a row? There, I have had so many Pokemon I've paralyzed over the times of playing these Pokemon games who never got affected by the paralysis like, eh, twice in a row. I demand compensation!
Get obliterated, you right, you bastard. My skills seem to let me down. I must have been out of two. Two paralysis procs twice in a row? How dare you? Should be illegal. Pokemon now owes me five billion dollars. But I have some super potions for out in the field healing. I guess I should probably also do a full restore or something that I have in here. Eh. I probably should have gotten more full restores, all things considered. Oh no, I got a full heal. Full restore is the uh, like super maxed out version. I got full restores because it's just better. <laughs> Sorry, but the, in the new gins, an electric type can't be paralyzed, nor poison types. It confuses me when I play the old games. It wasn't even that for me. It was most... Hmm. Interesting. Didn't expect that full roundy bouty. But it was just the fact that he paralyzed me when he died, and then I got paralyzed twice in a row. It's annoying. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. Is everybody a junkie in this world? We must kill the Electabuzz for fun and profit. How dare you go first? You're big and chunky. And you're ugly. No way you could go first in the world. No one wants to see you. You know, ugly face. You'll never find anybody who loves you, Electabuzz. Jump into the gears. And then we save the world. Ah, another Raichu. We should probably swap. Let's see. Yeah, let's send out Indigo. Yeah, like, I, I don't think I have a single move amongst all my team that can even super affect electric types. Like, not a one. Of course, you live with single digits and you use Thunder Wave because you're a bastard! <laughs> but I'll be heading early, tired. Ah, oh, very well. Hope that you get some nice rest. You paralyze me, then you dig underground. You what a bastard. And now you're paralyzed, you idiot. I thought I was doing that just in case, like, I went first while he was, or like, while they were still digging. Now you get obliterated. You monster. How can a right you even learn dig? It's a ground mold! The power's thrilling. I'm thrilled down to my toes. Stay away from Quentin Tarantino. Let's see, more super potioning around. I honestly feel like, I wonder how many of these, like, gym trainers are just, like, paid off by the gym leader. Just so that they can, like, soften you up when you get to them. This is what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom! Well, I guess it is his gym. He can do whatever he wants, I suppose. That's a nice Luxio. Too bad you gotta die. I'm going to assume that Volkner is probably going to be mid fifth, like low mid fifties, in terms of uh, like levels. And then when it comes to like the Elite Four, they're probably going to reach into the sixties. So that's going to be fun. I probably should have grinded more. But I am a fool. Hope I don't have to do much grinding on Victory Road. Did 
That would just be bothersome. Psychic. I throw you into oblivion. You now have a wonky AI with radiant quests. Spark! What, did we kill one of his Luxio and they were named Spark? And now he's sobbing his eyes out? God dang it. Now we come down here, fight you. So you doing little things around. And hello, hello to Twitch chat, and thank you for the raid! Indeed, we are playing some Pokemon Platinum! And I'm worrying about my levels! We are probably going to be annihilated. Those are some nice emotes. Thank you again for that raid. I'm surprised you've come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance that you could ever beat me. You probably don't even have five Pokemon. You're probably going to have five now to spite me, aren't you? Nope, just two. Just two. Just two. Why do you even exist? Close combat time, I guess, because why not? We're probably going to have to run back and heal up everybody in their power points just to be safe. So get out of here, Electabuzz. You fool. And a Magneton. Well, let's keep you out, because it should be part Steel-type, and your fighting should be able to annihilate it, unless the game is mean. Close combat again, because I want it to die. Magneton, ever since Pokemon Emerald, traumatized me. Just an evil, evil little steel monster. And this is why we have Silas. What makes your Pokemon so special? Well, you see, he's furry bait. Now the question is, uh... Obviously, we meant to come over here. Ah, uh, that's why. Because now it's a full quarter turn, we can come over here and bash him up. Well, I guess let's see. Don't let any of my Pokemon need healing, just shine. Well, I guess we can risk losing some money, and I don't think it's going to come down to power points. Hmm. I should probably send out... Honestly, I should probably send out Shine first. Or actually, Indigo first. Because Indigo should maybe be able to do some good stuff, maybe. I hope you're not another bastard, Volkner. We're gonna save here just because we can. Just in case. The nightmares return. Huh. I have no... Like, again, he's probably just gonna have levels into like 53 54 I hope please don't be higher all right challenger it's not often but some trainers managed to come and challenge me but they've all been boring battles I didn't break a sweat beating them <sighs> I'm Volkner the gym leader they say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh but anyway I guess we better get this done I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle I do like the, like, bu 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 the headcanon that gym leaders need to have, like, multiple teams that they judge trainers by. It's so, like, oh, you have no badges or one badge, they send out this team. You have this many badges, they send out another team. Or otherwise, it's just like, if all of the gyms get super tough, nobody can take the gym challenge. I get it, you guys are tough, but we can match your toughness. I don't think you can, Psychic. Just in case confusion somehow doesn't kill. Just in case. And now, we can plot who we're gonna send out. You're gonna send out a Raichu? Hmm. What should we send out? Let's send out Shine some. 
Then again, maybe keeping Shine back for his sand attack would have been a good idea, but oh well. The last Raichu wasn't terrible. It was, in fact, the other Raichu was higher level. Die. Focus Blast, what's that? It's not very focused if you can do it in one turn. It's a super effective move, what? I'm going to assume that is a fight move. I'm going to assume that is fighting move. And now I'm part paralyzed because of your fur. And now you're paralyzed because of my synchronize. Do you see what you have done to us, Raichu? I probably should have swapped out, but unless it's a crit, I should be fine. Don't you be funny and make it a crit. Good. Get out of here, Raichu. And who are you going to send out next? Electivire? That's a big, ugly bastard. Hmm. I'm going to send in... Yeah, let's send in Silas. Hope you don't have, like, a Steel Electric type as your final, because I... Then again, I guess I could sacrifice Nova to that if I had to. Close combat! Go! Utterly annihilate him! With the power of the fist plate! Please die. Damn it. Luckily, I don't think you can one-shot Silas. Please don't have, like, somehow... That is a very big citrus berry. Oh, fire move. How dare you. And that's gonna glass cannon my boy. Uh, Aura Sphere, please. <laughs> I lower my defense, he hits me with a super effective attack. Honestly, I'm surprised that you survived. Good job, Silas. You're a good boy. I think that's the first Pokemon that's gone over 2,000. Well, you know what? This is the perfect time. Which Luxray is best Luxray? Amp versus yours. Heh, <laughs> mine's better. This is it, my trump card. I feel like your Electivire should have been your trump card. Crunch. Hey, critical hit and lowered your defense. Suck it, Volkner. Ah, you have the same... Be hilarious if you also crit. Oh, shocking. I didn't see this coming. Like, I know it was a crit, but how much more powerful is Amp compared to you? Amp is a badass. I didn't lose anybody. You've got me beat. Your desire and the noble way of your ba Pokemon battled with you. I haven't felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. Silas came close to losing, but hey, we did it. <laughs> That was the most fun I've had in a battle since... I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. The Beacon Badge! What did it? The Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all eight badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. I want you to take this, too. TM57. What's inside is a move called Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's electrifying. Huzzah! Now we can just run on out of here. I might look and see if that Charge Beam would be good for Amp, and a very powerful Electro-type move would make Amp just a force to be reckoned with. Let's -a go! I win the day. I am the winner. Oh, Neon! Did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. But you know what? You haven't made it in my mind yet. Do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I'm proud of you. Eight Sinnoh badges. Way to go, kiddo! <laughs> the Bacon Badge. The ultimate badge to ever exist. Then again, what would even Bacon be in this world? 
I've heard about Victory Road, which leads to the Pokemon League. The word is the road is harsh and harrowing. I better load up with as many items as I can and as much medicine as I can carry. The real question is, where do I get Waterfall? I shall buy seals for decorating Pokeballs at the Sunny Shore Mart. Using those seals in a cool way will be sure to impress my Pokemon. And now I can buy Max Potions, Full Restores. I can't buy Max Revives, though. Now that's super sad. Max Revives would be overpowered, probably. Do I even care about Full Restores? Because, yeah, they do get rid of status effects and Fully Restores HP. But honestly, Hyper Potions are all I need right now. Let's just get a few more. Stock up on all the items. Definitely more Super Potions, just for outside of battle healing. I guess a few Ultra Balls, even though we don't really have much to capture out there. And what do you have to sell? <laughs> the Luxury Ball. A comfortable ball that makes caught wild Pokemon quickly grow friendly. If only I could have... Like, again, I think it would be cool if you could swap badges out. Hmm, we'll have to see if, like, uh... Oh, hey, you, 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 you. I, you look familiar. Aren't you from Generation 2? Hey, Neon! What the? You ain't got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh! Hi, you. That's wicked! I envy you, but don't think you've won, because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me! Before I was dreaming, I just wanted to be like my dad. Now things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're going to get tougher one step at a time. I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. But not a whole lot tougher. Just a little. Our difference is about a yard? Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Was that your friend? Seeing how you two got, <laughs> got along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without fighting. Um, it made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but... <laughs> this isn't much, it's just the thing you need to get to the Pokemon League. That hidden machine, it contains Waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. I, um, I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. Now let's see. How good is Waterfall as a move. If it's like Surf Levels, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, Charge Beam. 50 power, 10 accuracy. That's that's bad, game. It's bad, game. Why? Flash Cannons, Steel. Hmm. I don't think I have that many. I guess technically Lucario is Steel. But I don't think there are that many Pokemon that are like weak to Steel. 80 power. That's not bad. Yep, the only one is you. We'll check things out. Let's see. <laughs> the user charges at the foe at an awesome speed. 80 power. <laughs> Surf is still better. Yet they're the same. That's interesting. Hmm. Like, I guess I could get rid of Bubble Beam and then keep Brine for finishing enemies off. Yeah, cause it's funny that the Water-type ones are actually somewhat useful. Because Surf does a lot of damage. Waterfall does decent damage, just not as much as Surf. And then... Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of Bubble Beam. That way we can wear him down with Surf and Waterfall, then use Brine to finish him off. Goodbye, Bubble Beam. I will cry if I get Hydro Pump in, like, a level. Well, we're gonna save, and we're gonna head out to the Pokemon Log! There better not be any fog up there, or I'm gonna be very angry! Fog is a terrible status thingy. 
fight me. I want to level up my Pokemon more. I'm determined to go to the Pokemon League no matter how hard it is. Why can't we just swim? Why do we need Surf? You have one Pokemon? Sure, it's high... It's not a... You would not be able to get all eight gym badges of just that one Pokemon. I should have... I didn't heal up my Pokemon? Oh, well, die. Then we'll go back and heal up our Pokemon. I'm a fool. You survived? That's a miracle. Silly you. Whirlpool isn't an HM in this world. Anymore. That was... Okay, I understand. It's because, like, oh, you're trapped in the vortex. But it's just, like, secret does hardly anything. Hilarious. <laughs> Goodbye. You only have one Pokemon. Why do you have only one Pokemon? What's wrong with you? This is so hard. Go back home. Get, like, one more Pokemon, please. Well, actually, we should probably be leveling up Nova. So she can Brave Bird all over the, the opponents. <laughs> Nova's just like, thank you for not sending me out to my death against the Electric-type gym leader. And then there's Silas, who's just like, Why? Why did I get hit by a fire punch? Why does an Electivire know an Electivire punch? Mm, ding, ding, ding. I just realized something. Like, Nurse Joys have kind of persisted throughout all of the Pokemon games to a degree. But I don't think there are any real Nurse... Li or Nurse... Uh, like, uh... Officer Jenny's out there in the universe. Bring back Nurse. <laughs> Why did my brain keep saying Nurse? Officer Jenny. My brain is just bleh. It's like I got hit by Volkner. Hello, man, Pike. You are a flying water man, and now you must die for your existence. Funnily enough, if I remember, like flying doesn't resist flying, which amuses me. Excuse me for wearing my bikini. What? What do, you, what do you mean? You're out here swimming. Like, aside from a, like, a full-on wetsuit, what would you be wearing? What are you, a weirdo? Get quick, Claude, idiot. I don't think that actually helped me go faster than you, but hey. How dare you survive? By becoming, uh, like, uh, forgetful, its special defense has risen somehow. You'd think that you'd want to remember more to be able to survive special effects, but who knows. And then a Zoomeril. Hmm. Eh, well, we'll keep Nova out to see Nova can get more experience. More annihilation of the foes. Not the Aqua Ring. That'll, that'll, like, kill because it's a bastard. And I'll just have to keep aerial lacing you, slowly but surely. Hopefully you don't, like, throw a rock at me. Nope, just Bubble Beam. Some real power must be in those bubbles. To, like, actually do damage. <laughs> aerial lace! Aerial lace! Aerial lace! Who needs moves when you have one? Type disadvantage comes up. Just swap to another Pokemon. And then I ran into a random. Why are you why are you such a high level? Why do you exist? Die. At least you'll be decent grinding, hopefully. What's Tailwind? No, seriously, what is Tailwind? It's like, ah, it's coming from behind the foe. Like, if anything, that should make me go faster. 
It failed to swallow a thing. But it failed. You are a weird, weird little man. Go back in to the, the Mystery Dungeon universe and deliver mail. Fight me, swim boy. I train at a Pokemon gym too. Don't think you're gonna win easily. I'm going to make sure that you drown. Another Mantike. You shall punish. What is he even going to say? You are going to be punished. I don't know why I opened up with you are punish. I don't even know. Grammar? Who needs grammar? Words. Die. Be gone, man tyke. Come back when you're a man man. Eh, we'll keep you out just so you can get more experience and you're almost about to level up. Eh, let's use fly. I don't think we've ever used it before. Zoop. Why do you have bullet seed? That's like super weak. Get flyed on, idiot. Ah, you're gonna send out a manteen. Majestic. Fly away. Oh, you also flew. That Oh no, sprang up. What? Oh, bounce. So, if I go first, you're going to bounce up again. I can fly. Oh no, you're going to use water pulse this time. How did you know I was going to use fly when I've been vigorously just abusing it this entire fight? How dare you learn? And a level up for Nova. Master Wake, I mean Crasher Wake, I'm sorry. There's no way he could be your master. You're too pathetic. You're too much of a fool. Okay. Yeah, we should probably... Hmm. This is a decision on who to throw out an Annihilate Water type swift. Ah. Let's see. Let's annihilate these water types. Let's go. To swim every sea there is. That's my dream. Like all the way? Deep breathing before battle. Breathe in. And out. Deep breathing probably is good for you in some level. Until you get lightheaded, you fall, bash your head open. Ah, full team, huh? Well, we know... So that that Wingle's gonna die. Indigo, you're covering up Amp. You're hogging the spotlight. It looks like you have a weird hairdo. We'll annihilate the Wingle while you annihilate the Meryl. Because I think Meryl should be water type by now. Do, 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 do. Now, obliteration for you. And that should be four times weakness as well. Again, what is with Pokemon Company and making flying water types? Like, water type Pokemon that are also flying. <laughs> Indigo likes his weird hairdo. He's recently gotten into anime. Get obliterated, octopus. Even though I don't think you're really octopus, because I don't think you have eight legs. Oh, yeah, you survived? What? How dare you? Bastard. At least that wingle will die, and that's the most important thing. Maybe. Until that octillery pulls out like drill horn or something and one-shots me. What the fuck is a signal beam? And then we'll just spark the gold duck and uh, confuse the artillery, I guess. If 
Flyby Octillery. Then again, I guess it has to have eight of something. It is. Does it does have oct in it? Unless there's some weirdo who like looks at a animal of seven limbs and is just like, you know, what's gonna be funny? I'm gonna call you oct. And I'll level up for Indigo. And then a Polypa that is going to probably be annihilated. I'll say hello to your four times weakness, fool. Probably didn't even need <laughs> the super effectiveness. Get obliterated, fool. Boo, I'm not done with my dream! Breathe in and out, breathe in and out. And then she gets lightheaded, she falls under the waves, she drowns. She can't breathe no more. Well, we should probably put you up, because we can. Ah, it's you! I forget if, like, the poison gets rid of it or not. Let's try. Get obliterated, Tentacruel! Annihilated for you! And then, fight time! Hey, fight time! It might not look like it, but I'm traveling now! Well, obviously you're not, because you're fighting me. You can't travel and fight at the same time unless you're on a moving platform. And you only have a tentacruel. What's wrong with you? <laughs> not the clear body, even though it's obviously not clear. Like at all. Get obliterated and level up for amp. You've got the upper hand on me. Your fight words mean nothing to me. And then suddenly, just more fighting. Did another tentacle come to avenge the tentacle buddy? But even. Dude, dude, dude. Yes, 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 clear body does a thing. The world cries. Goodbye, Tentacruel. The only cruel thing is your own existence. I know I should probably swap somebody else in. Try to spread out the, the levelings. Come on, Lancelot, the bicon of the age. Oh, darn it, how dare you tempt me with that Pokemon item. Fight me, lady. You will die. Your Pokemon doesn't seem to be tiring at all from carrying you on its back. Let's see how... Let me see how strong it is. Hilariously, I do have my <laughs> surfing Pokemon in the front. Da -da -da. Let's see how powerful they are. Water for the surf. Even though I think Waterfall should do extra damage to a flying type. That still killed you. Granted, you're like uh, an unevolved Pokemon, but still. Waterfall on him, because we can. It might not be very effective, but it'll kill you slowly. Meanwhile, you fury attack me. Please don't have drill horn or something. That would be mean. Maybe about as mean as me using water moves to kill you, a water type, but still. Oh, you also have waterfall. That makes sense. You are going to there. Even though you really shouldn't be able to like, have as many gym badges as y you do. Or maybe you somehow 
got the HM and like you learned it to a Pokemon, but you can't actually use it in the field. The world of Pokemon and its laws are weird. Oh, hey, item. An Ultra Ball. Like the one thing I don't need out here. Let's see, who do I want to fight you with? Let's try Shine. Fight me, Sailor Man! I came out here because I wanted to see the Pokemon League for myself. Well, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen, I guess. Zachariah. Narmon the giant bird. Stockpile all you want, it won't make you survive. Maybe it'll, you'll survive longer, but you won't survive overall. <laughs> we got a critical hit, you fool. You poor man. Ah, you're gonna send out him a choke. Better swap out. Let's see, who deserves it the most? Ah, Nova. We need to level up Nova some more still. Your Machoke will do nothing except choke on these nuts. Or rather, choke on these primaries, I suppose. Get slapped. Get slapped hard. Another critical hit! Huh. And you're gonna send in a Gastrodon, which is water ground type. Which I guess indigo time. Then again, the well, that you yeah, 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 this should do good. Get a blasted. Magic leaves! I probably should have taught like one of my Pokemon. Uh, like a ground move. One. Singular. I'm shocked! No, really, I am! I don't think you are. I think you're mocking me. What? There's a dude? Did I not fight you? I want to fight you! I'm gonna come fight you! I'm gonna come kill you! Little fish man! I'm gonna fight everyone on the seven seas of this singular lane. Hello. I've decided I'm off to the Pokemon League if I win. You're not gonna win. And even if I even if you did win, I think you'd still be here. You only have two Pokemon. You think that you can go take on the Pokemon League and you only have two Pokemans? You lunatic? You monster? Another critical hit! Game, save all these critical hits for the Elite Four, please! Get munched on. Because why not? We need to level up everybody. Haha, <laughs> you flinched! Two for flinching! Ha ha ha! I am the winner! <laughs> and then he died out here. Nobody saw him ever again. The surf music is nice and, like, calming. And now, we go on evermore. Come on, Shine. You might be able to level up from... Well, not this. We were gonna fight the lady. A level 50 Tentacruel. I forget. I wanna... I wanna see. How does this do against, like, poison? Just nothing. Just normal. But I guess I'll munch anyway. How dare you scream at me. Screaming is meaning. That's gonna cause confusion, isn't it? 
Uh, you also got a critical hit. This, is, this isn't uh, like victory road. This is just critical everything. Critical hit land. At least I didn't get confused by any of those. It either seems to happen on the first hit or never. And a level up for shine. And now we can swap them out. But see, I think... Uh, let's throw you out because we can. See what happens. <laughs> you turned away right as I did that? You fool! Now I have a dive ball. The ultimate of your demise. My favorite kind of guy is someone that looks good out on the open sea. Like Popeye the Sailor Man? Or is it you're all you're talking about your Golduck? You're probably talking about your Golduck. Aurosphere! Wait a minute, you're part psychic, aren't you? No, you just did. And a critical hit! Every single battle feels like these critical hits all the time now. The tide is going out. And you're going out with it. You're gonna die in this corner. Did you know I was crowned the champion of a swimsuit contest? So now I'm trying to win a title at a Pokemon contest. Idea. Put your Pokemon in a swimsuit. Best of both worlds. Then again, that kind of looks like a swimsuit already. Kill that fish. It has committed crimes of all kinds, including tax fraud. Da -da -da. Aha, you do an aqua ring, but it's only gonna heal you enough that you can continue to feel the pain ever slightly longer. It's still, still slower than a single turn, but... Or, yeah, slower than a single turn, but still. Time isn't real. Dialga's out there having a vacation. And you're gonna send in a Polippa. Who should we send in? I'm gonna send in Nova. I probably should have healed Nova before this fight, but oh well. Be glared at by the power of Nova. Fly. Whee! Because it is slightly better than Aerial Ace. What sped up? You didn't even swallow anything. I guess stockpile technically counts still. Hmm. Interesting. Barry didn't really do anything with his stockpiling. I'm speechless. I'll never lose it when I'm in my swimsuit. Well, apparently you do. And I'm the one to beat you. And I guess if worse comes to worse, we can feed my Pokemon rare candies. Though I think that does, like, stunt their stat growth a bit. Heal up some of my Pokemon with these super potions. The more trainers that we annihilate in one run, the less that we have to go through again when we inevitably, like, uh, fly back for healing. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we should have Nova up front more, and then we'll have Lancelot try and take down some. Now my brain went and insulted my penguin. It said Lancel Slut or something. Lancelot, Lancelot. Yes, I know I can surf, but I'd rather swim instead. It does seem weird, I agree. Honestly, not really. It saves you a move slot on one of your Pokemon. Or in your case, your only Pokemon. You know what, you're kind of scary. I think I'm going to Brave Bird you. Especially because you cut my attack a little bit. Brave Bird! Of course you survive. 
You're making my bird wet. Stop it. How dare you? And there you lace. Hopefully that kills. Kaploosh! Kaploosh indeed. There's a move slot so his Gyarados can use Fly instead. If only. Hello and welcome to Flight Gyarados. We are going to flamethrower that patch of grass because it looks ugly. Waterfall time! This is probably like one of two waterfalls in the entire game. Oh hey, a Pokemon Center right here. Perfect. Vicky Road confuses me. I should draw a, draw a map. The objective is to reach the Pokemon League. Stay focused and never lose sight of the goal. It will sustain you as you fight through the long and arduous Victory Road. <laughs> Maybe humans can't fly because we've already learned four moves. Walking, breathing, punching, and kicking. Nah, because then we'd be able to forget one of those and be able to fly. Or maybe they like, nah, it's like a, they're not special enough. Then again, because like the birds, they always fly, but they need to have a special move for fly. Because it's very specific. Well, on we go into Victory Road. Hopefully it's not that confusing. I see you. I'm going to come down here, fight that guy, and get that item. I am a psychic. I can see a future. Yeah, you don't see shit. Not a haunter. And luckily, if I do get lost in here, I can just escape rope out. Are you gonna send in a Gengar? You got around that 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 evil lady. You are a fool. Why'd you do that? Die. Get surfed on, idiot. You look like a fairy. And I heal from hurting you. You equivalently did only three damage to me. And I don't think this will heal as much because it kills you outright. Sadness. Effective murder. <laughs> I healed two. Ah, oh, you're gonna send out a God of War. Good for you. My God of War is better than your God of War. Ah, perfect. Perfect, because you're in brine range now. Are oh, you trying to calm your own mind? Because you can't accept that my God of War has a bigger dick than your God of War? Die. Well, the power of brine. Stab with double damage. The only sad part is I probably will never be able to super effective brine someone like that. And what kind of rock monster is in here? Is it a Golbat? It's a Golbat. It's always a Golbat! We're in a cave, it's like, ooh, is it rock time? No Golbat time. You're gonna confuse Raimi, I'm gonna get sad, I'm gonna murder your family, you're gonna go to court. It's just a whole thing! How dare you survive. Thank God for being part steel. And a level up for Lancelot. Oh, you want to learn Drill Peck? Yeah, but it's a flying move, so we lose out on Stab. But it is very powerful. 
But the thing is, the only time I'd ever use brine is when they're already, like, down and out, and plus, it doesn't have stab. Everything else is necessary, so yeah, we're gonna not get learn drill peck. And plus, if I want to kill something with a flying move, I have Nova. The only downside now is I'm probably going to be tempted to use my repels. But I also want to fight these Pokemon so I can level up a bit more. So that I have an easier time with the Elite Four, maybe? And then there's going to be Cynthia. But at the same time, I want to go faster. Because if I go faster, then I can, like, maybe more quickly get to the Elite Four and not have to worry about potentially going for a long time. Because knowing Victory Road, I could very well run into an issue where I either feel like I'm forced to stop so that we only have the Elite Four at the end, but that could be a short stream, which wouldn't be very fulfilling. Or I could make this a long stream if it takes too long. It's just like, ah, the choices are here to kill. So basically, this is going to be a puzzle. And if I fall down the wrong way, I'm going to have to go all the way back to the start. Oh, hey, a Rhydon. Once again, that could be used for the choke. Ride on this dick. Die, ground boy. For a moment there, I was expecting you to live with how slow your health was going down. Maybe I should start using my speed up to get through, like, the animations. Since love, this is just gonna be walking around. More Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere. And we shall fight this Ace Trainer. Lots of rock climbing points. I keep battling so I can soar ever higher into the skies. Well, that's not good. I probably should swap out. I thought you were gonna be an ace trainer. You're a flyer one. Hmm, let's see. Who do I want to send out? Yeah, we should probably just send out Amp. Look into the glare of Amp. Your air slash is pitiful. Now die. She doesn't even have any super powerful electric attacks. It's just Spark. Through the power of Spark, she annihilates everything in a way. A Togetic? Aren't you like a normal type? I'm gonna keep you out just in case you're like a normal flying. Um, Spark, I guess? To test? Huh. Bye bye. Seems I've been grounded. And now you cannot fly. You are here to die. Zoom through the animations. Aura Sphere. I think there's actually an option to turn off battle animations, but I like the battle animations for, like, the actual fights. Goodbye, right on. You are dead now. Max Repel. We can repel all the Maxes now. A 
Another Aura Sphere to blast the Onyx. I do like that the Aura Sphere kind of follows the Lucario arm and the, <laughs> the Battle Sprite. It amuses me. Oh, hey, a Rhyhorn. Aura Sphere. Goodbye. One of these days, a rock type is going to survive and scare me somehow. And be like, surprise, I have a psychic move or something. What's a Graveler doing on the bridge? That's illegal. Get out of here. Goodbye. And rock climb time. And might as well check out this area. It's probably just a jump down. Just jump down. Need to be careful not to overstep. Interesting that they give you lots of options to go back down. I can only assume that it gets more confusing the further we go in. Or else this isn't confusing at all. I thought it was going to be like a maze. Drop down the wrong path, you have to start all over again. Almost a level up for Silas. Show me you've uh, how you've battled to get this far. Let's do this! Your annihilation draws near. A normal type. How adorable. Goodbye. Go back to the nursing home. It will probably take it forever for it to die, though. Oh, it didn't even die. What the hell? How dare you? That's illegal! You must be annihilated in five states. You must draw and quarter this blissy. Get obliterated. You're just like a frilly chancy. Don't make me use close combat on you. I'm gonna have to use close combat on you because you're a fuck. Fine then, close combat, die. Good, it didn't survive with pixel health. That would have been bad. But lots of experience for the boy. We're gonna close combat another guy. Oh yeah, Magnazone exists. I always forget you if you weird middle eye. Get close combated again. And a critical hit. That feels like overkill. And you're gonna send in a Glalie. Do I have anybody that would be good against a Glalie because it's ice type? Forget what's good against ice. Grass? Maybe grass. Hello, Glalie! With your weird reptilian eyes. Then again, wouldn't uh, snow be good against... I forget. Well, that's just mean that you have crunch. How dare you? That is quite illegal, young man. Young lady. Well, we'll throw Shine in. Shine could use some experience as well. Ah, you crunched on the wrong dog. Now die. Slowly, probably, but still die. 
Or is dark weak to ice, is it? Nope, just to ice. Well, I guess it was true. You were trying to use a dark type move on a psychic, and that's why you crunched. Makes sense. So that's how you battled? Kinda. Let's see. Because he is leveled decently. There's lots of rock types, and so we can't really use Nova or Amp, really, without risk of annihilation. I suppose we can throw Indigo in. I just need to make sure to heal him. And then use a lot of magical leaves. There we go. That should be decent healing. Well, yep, just a dead end, so up we go, I guess. Hmm. Obviously, we need to smash this. Oh, no, we have to use bikes. We're gonna probably have to be, uh... Using some repels up in here. Alright, let's check out what's down this way then. Let us see what be. Alright, a three stone boulder puzzle of strength. Uh, of course, the first thing we'd get is a gold bat after all those ground types and rock types. Yeah, bastard, you know that, gold bat. You're evil. Nobody loves you. Everybody hates you. You're gonna go to hell. And nobody will even know you there. That's how alone in the world you are. Please get on with your turn. So that I might annihilate you from eternity. The power of spark. Goodbye. Goodbye, gold bat. Goodbye. Let's see. Yeah, this is the only way to do it. It's not really a puzzle at all, is it? I'll activate you up here so you don't get in the way of my boulder pushing. You, one look at you tells me you're a real contender! Am I, though? Hello, Omar, and hello, Mamoswai. I will try and psychic you to death and hope you don't get, have anything crazy. And goodbye, Mamoswai. Mwahaha. <laughs> A Motham, that's uh, obviously going to be a bug type. So, I do believe Nova should be able to annihilate you. Birds eats bugs, so die. <laughs> Goodbye, Motham. I don't even know what you evolve from. Or even if you do. Rampardos. Silas. I believe you'll be good for this. Aura Sphere! I forget what Malt Breaker does. I've abilities, they just go out my ear. I do not remember anything. Bye bye. Huzzah! You're as tough as you look. Now let's see. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's once again very simple. Oh, hey, a Steelix! You're gonna be annoying to kill. Should I just keep Silas out eternally? Don't have the ethers for it. We'll just skip ahead a little bit. Get to your annihilation. 
But I have some chin on you. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a psychic trainer who said they could see my past. They then sent out a Dusk Noir. We both know that one. They then sent out an Absol, one of my favorite Pokemon. Absol is a very cool Pokemon. I really hope there's an opportunity of me to use an Absol in the future. Oh hey, a Magneton just out in the out in the wild. Once again, Silas gets thrown in. And Aurasphere. It's almost like they tailored this place to <laughs> be annihilated by a Lucario. The only problem is I don't want to, like, have Silas be my, like, main thing out of fear of, like, his glass cannon nature coming back to annihilate me. Hmm. I want to see. Maybe that's all an optional part up there? Oh, hey, a Gabite. Surf. Ah, you haven't attained your ground nature, then you died anyway. Huh. That was quite a scream you had there. Dang it. Please, go die. I'm trying to... I hate that you can, like, game, you know what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to do this thing that you set up for me to do. It's like, will you let me do that, please? Dang it. Doing the quick turns is difficult. I hate that this is a thing, game. I hate that it's a thing. I want to do this puzzle that you set up for me to do. Dang it. Doing the... Like, I get it. I'm on a bike. But seriously, why would you even have this be a thing if you're going to have it be a puzzle game? Why would you not let players do your goddamn puzzles, you asshole? Let's see. Do I have any just normal repels? Oh, yeah, they're over here. I'm a fool. I feel like equip items should have their own thing. You know, I'm just going to use a max repel. I want to give this a good attempt to try and do this jump. Like that. That's all I wanted to do, game. And you're just being a jerk about it. Dang it. Hmm, I forget. How do you do, like, the soft jump? Doing the quick turn is difficult. To me, at least. Game. I hate you. There we go. Like that. There we go. Spin a bit. All for a max elixir. But still, it's just very annoying. Oh, dang it, game. I clicked the button. Immediately. loathsome design to have bike like test thingies here in a cave and you just don't give the player any kind of like aid in fighting off the wild Pokemon while you're trying to do your stupid bike puzzle game I feel like you're cheating by sending out all the magnetons now that I have Lancelot in front. Hmm. 
Eh, we'll just keep Silas in. Game, I'm trying to do your stupid, dumbass fucking puzzle to get out. It's just annoying that they're like, do this. Game, let me out. <laughs> I just do not like that design at all. Where they're like, hey, bike puzzle. By the way, if you bike, you have increased chance to encounter Pokemon. And then you put the bike puzzles in caves. Bad design. Inherently. Terrible. Go home. Never go home. You're going to hell. You'll never see your family again. It's like, oh, just get repels. And what if you don't have a repel? Because, like, what if you're a player that's just like, I like getting into fights, but then the one time you want to, like, do anything other than fight because the game put it in front of you. Come on. We'll try and get Amp to fight in this next fight. Oh, please be a bird trainer. This total stranger will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Now well, you're going to be an ace trainer. Darn it. It would have been perfect to level up Amp. Yeah, Clefable. You're just like a normal type, aren't you? We'll whittle away at you. Ah, you raised your defense. Good for you. You're still gonna die. And you're paralyzed, you fool. Meteor Mash? How dare you? Doesn't do anything, you fool. Now, bite the Clefable. Eat it. Alive. <laughs> Once again, the pointless crit has returned. Torterra. Well, let's see. I think, Nova, I think you're gonna kill this. Unless it's rock type, it should be ground type. Which shall be obliterated. Leave no Torterra unscathed. Get brave birded with a quick claw. And you survived that much damage? Are you a tank? Kind of evil that leech seed goes off on the turn that it's activated. Now give me lots of experience, please. That is adequate, I shall take it. That battle just now makes it tougher than. I was like. They put so many words, but make it so you can't read them. Illegal, I say. I take two steps. Game, please. Again, I like doing the random fights because, like, it gets me experience, but come on. Hmm. If I push the bottom one, it locks it. Basically. Well, no, it doesn't lock it, but it just, like, it means that the only thing I can do is push this. That's literally all I can do. Hello, old man. What are you gonna throw at me? Let me see how well your Pokemon can battle. I assume that you're gonna be like, uh, the martial artist man? Yeah. And then you throw out a bird. How dare you. That's illegal in 50 states. Then I shall send out Amp because I can. You'll try a bird attack and then you will be fighting an electric type, you fool. Oh, you're gonna use that, you motherfucker? Hit him now, damn it. Just gonna speed up until we hit you. We're gonna be playing that game. Show me how tough your Pokemon are, and proceeds to do an accuracy test instead. 
software choice. And then Lickalicky. I completely forget what fucking Lickalicky is. Rock Plant? I probably shouldn't have sent out Nova then. Oh wait, no, that. I was thinking of a different thing. I was thinking of that weird, like, plant, like, uh, fossil guy. Completely forgot that you were, like, a thing. Everyone knows Lickitung, but you just, like, exist. And you survive with pixel health, you bastard. Be gone. Once again, pixel health critical hit. Thank you, game. You sure do give me everything. Brilliant! Now we just need to do more healings. Because, well, we need to heal Nova, because Nova got obliterated in there. Well, actually, can't I just... I want to test something. Yeah, can I just come back up and reset the rocks? Game, please. Let's just try Rock Smash. I might try Rock Smash on other Pokemon, but not that one, because those guys, those guys know Explosion. Because this game is made by evil. Game Freak should bring back every Gen 1 bird type, which is just missing though. Because technically, it's flying type that exists. Well, actually, yeah. We need to push this all the way in. Ah, uh, yeah, then we can push you. Oh no, this is just I don't I don't care I don't care I don't want to do the bike puzzles anymore because they're badly designed because of the random encounters. If I could actually just do the bike, that would be fun. And technically, I know I can because I have like uh, the, the repels for it. But no, I, I, I don't I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to waste my repels. I thought this would be a fun time instead. All that there would be is pain. I probably should have bought more elixirs. Then again, they probably expect you to be running for more battles at this point. But the experience! Hello, Rhyhorn. Rock Smash. And Rock Smash. zippity doo -da. Be careful not to fall down or else we'll have to go through the wandering rock maze hell again. Well, actually, we're going to be fighting a... I'll have Lancelot be the front man until we get to the fight guy. Knowing my luck, yeah, the game will throw more of these at me. Uh, waterfall, I guess. Hello, ride on. Waterfall. Go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. And now we shall swap you in for some indigo leveling. My Pokemon knows karate! I'm warning you, it's a tough one! It's gonna be like a Metacham, isn't it? Just to mess with me. Not my chap! Hey, the first time we've seen you in those glorious pecs of yours. Psychic. Will you survive? Let us see. Bye-bye. The perfect experience container for Indigo. I've met my match in strength! No, that, that was strategy. Strength had nothing to do with it. And we'll put Lancelot back in front. Speed up, beat some fry horn, we'll surf it, it'll probably... Oh, it died, good for you. And we'll 
speed up, it's a graveler. Honestly, I'll just run. You don't really get much experience. Let's see. I do... F oh, wait. This will uh, actually be good. Uh, we'll run from this and... What do you mean can't escape? There's no way that fucking floatzel is faster than my boy. Fuck you. Like, maybe with Aqua Jet, but that's a move, not its normal speed, you, you fucker. But this will be the perfect time to level up Indigo and Amp a bit without too much fear. I want to see what's up here. Ah, the, the getaway point. Fight me, Psychic. I'm a Psychic, I can see your past! Good thing I don't have Indigo in front. Ah, Chimico! You're a psychic, so I should be able to annihilate your... with, uh, the power of Dark Crunch. Dark Crunch comes for your balls. And then... an Absol. What's good against Dark-type? Fighting-type. Let's give it to Nova, though, because they know a fighting move. I do wonder why they chose to introduce Absol in the same generation as, like, uh, Mighty Ina. Why have two Dark-type dogs at the same time? I also wonder why fighting beats Dark in terms of type matchup. I don't know, it seems weird. And you're gonna send out Dusk Noir? What's good against Ghost for me? I'm dumb. Wait, shouldn't it also be dark? Well, let's send out Shine. Hello, Dusk Noir. Not the real Dusk Noir. Get bit. How dare you not die? That's illegal. And then you just decide to glare at me. With your stomach eyes or your face eyes. I shall bite you again. A pathetic performance for a psychopomp. The past, you've been through a lot. I know, I cried. Hmm. I wonder if I should just look up a map for some of this. Does seem quite crazy in here. Either that I could just start using the I could just start using max repels. I don't want to though, but levels. Or maybe that's all just like secondary and I can just come up here. <laughs> Remember, we aim for Dust North stomach mouth. Exactly. That's how we win. Ooh, a calcium. Who deserves the calcium? The special attack of a single Pokemon that definitely needs to be Indigo. Oh, it won't have any effect. Huh. Then I guess... Um... Amp? HP up. Who needs HP up most? Honestly, you. Do I have any other, like, diddly -dees? There is TP up, but... Mm. Uh, we're gonna be facing a double battle up there. Need to level up Shine a bit. Should also probably use some super potions to top up at least you for this double battle that's coming on up. Huh. 
It's a doubles team of aces. We're going to overwhelm you. We form a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? Through overwhelming force. You only have two Pokemon. Why do you only have two Pokemon? What the fuck is wrong with you? You only have two Pokemon. What the, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? How'd you even get here? It's just like... What's wrong with you? That was a critical hit. I feel sorry for you. Not the room clearing moves. Not the wins. And that was super effective. I feel sad for you. Uh, die. Your suffering ends now. Get obliterated. Luminion. You might have my name, but I disown you. I'm gonna take you to court. I don't think Captivate would be a good move. What's Captivate? If it is the opposite gender of the user, the foe is charmed into sharply lowering a special attack that is dependent on gender. It goes against the buy icon. Lancelot shall be tossed to the side. Aha, you fledged, you idiot. Annihilation follows you everywhere. You and your Pokemon gain power by helping you and your Pokemon make a beautiful combination. And then I got lots of money from murdering them. No one will find their bodies. Now let's see, is this just going to be an item or is this the way out? Seems to be the way out. Or it could just lead to an item, anyway. Forcing me to come back through, not knowing which way is which. Maybe that one lady was right and this place is confusing. Ah, rare candy. At least I'll be able to use all these up before the Elite Four. Maybe. Why are you even just walking around here? Spending all your time walking in circles? And an Ultra Ball. Somebody died here. Oh, hey, a waterfall. My question is, why have two waterfalls? To get into the Pokemon League. I guess so that if somebody... <laughs> is that waterfall purely here? So if people... Tr like, used a... Like, a non-main team member with waterfall. Traded him in at the Pokemon Center right at the top of the first waterfall. Came in here just to mock him. Why would you do this? Victory Road. Somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. But before the final chapter is written, I must pin your defeat. You're a fool. This is gonna be your obituary. Magic Leaf should work against you. Magical Leaves! Get obliterated. Please don't survive to deal damage if you go horn. I ain't gonna send in a carnivine on ya. Carnivine. Nova, I choose you. Annihilate him with your power. Again, what's with all these like, ooh, I'm a great trainer. I only have two Pokemon. What's wrong with all of you? Get obliterated. That wasn't how I planned the final chapter to go in my writing class. Well, that's just it. Nobody plans their stories. Their stories live on in their heads. 
stories just do what they want. Magical weed. And waterfall. Again, purely to force you to use... Like, either your main team member, a main team member for Waterfall, or to make you waste a slot anyway. I take Pokemon that are tough to begin with and toughen them up even more. You can help me! You're going to lose. Oh, hey, a Dragon Tamer! This will be good for, uh... Silas to practice, maybe. Psychic. If only we had the fairy type, you'd be annihilated. Well, more annihilated than you already are. Well, that's not good at all. Confusion. You rose your speed and your attack, and you still could not speed the sexy e-boy indigo. Are oh, you going to send out a Gabite? I'm going to send out a fighting type that knows Dragon Pulse. You are just a prelude to what I'm going to do to Cynthia. Goodbye. There's no way I could have won. Then why are you here? <laughs> are you saying that I'm just so powerful? Then again, you only have two Pokemon. Again, it's just like all these people come here with not even three or four Pokemon. How did you all beat, like, the gym leaders? Wait a minute, this is... I didn't go in a circle, did I? I don't think so. I think this leads to an item, actually. I just need to be careful not to jump down a ledge, I think? Nope, it is just a ledge. There's lots of frickin' floatsels up in here. How dare you survive. And a level up for Indigo, though. And we shall swap Amp in. Well, actually... I should probably uh, throw Lancelot in, because we're gonna be going into the land of monsters again. I could go back for that one item, but I don't care to. Hmm, an old man. Eh, we'll fight you with Lancelot. I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow. Well, I am raising an aura Pokemon. Hmm, Porygon Z. Don't think I've seen you yet. Waterfall. Why do you know Thunderbolt? I guess it kind of makes sense. You are kind of the normal technology all-rounder, but still mean. How dare you be faster than me, too? If it weren't for the fact that you did a lot of damage with that Thunderbolt, I would try to finish you off with Lancelot. So instead... Eh, let's... No, definitely not. He's going to throw out another Thunderbolt. I guess I am. Why do half my messages not send? I honestly do not know. YouTube is just weird sometimes. Just... It's a freaky thing. Let's see. Uh, Spark should actually do good against you, because it should just be a normal type. just very interesting, considering that Porygon are all about being, like, electronic and in computers and stuff. A Tang growth, eh? Nova, your time is here. We shall annihilate you, Aerial Ace! 
Now that's very rude to use toxic against somebody in Victory Road, my dude. Like I have four like status heals, but still that is very mean thing to do. Especially when you basically knew that that was the only thing you could do before your Tangro fainted. You are a very rude old man. Oh, you're gonna send out an Empoleon of your own? Well, then I'm gonna send the Amp out back out. That steel and uh, water's gonna conduct beautifully. I just realized I don't think I've fought an Infernape yet. My power is greater than your power. Huzzah! Ah, I understand it now. You are very high level. Part of me wonders if I should just start running from the battles or use my... Let's see, uh... Yeah. Well, actually, I do have an antidote, so why not use that? I really should just, like, start using my max repels because I'm I'm running out of... What's the word? I'm running out of, uh, power points. <laughs> and as you run out of power points, remember, stay hydrated in this nightmare of a world. You're either going to be a flyer person, or you're going to be an ace trainer. Either way, I think having amp in front will be good. I should probably use a potion on Indigo. Or like two potions. And then more potions for everybody else, because everyone is like... I like to heal when they're like around a third health down at least because just in case somebody pulls something crazy out and does a lot of damage. Let's see, make sure Amp is in front, then let's fight you. This is a place where tough trainers naturally congregate. It's ideal for training. Oh, that. It... Why do you all have the same sprite? Well, at least it's gonna be more training for Silas. Time to crunch, I guess. Oh, you son of a bitch. You know what? I'm going to uh, throw Nova out so that uh, you do not hit. <laughs> Silas is having a field day here. My glass cannon. I cannot stop feeding my glass cannon. Hello. Die, please. Using dig. How dare you. Ah, Swablu. Hmm. Then I guess we'll go back to Amp then. I thought he was going to have a full Garchomp in there. Then again, they're probably saving Garchomp for Cynthia. Like, you should be a flying dragon, right? There's no way that you're just dragon. Right? This blue flower is my favorite emoji for some reason. It does look like a very pretty flower. And another Gabite. Alright, Silas, come in here and kill another child. Ah, killing a teenager instead. Like we, I hope I'm on the right track to get into the Elite Four. 
Granted, the Elite Four might outlevel me exponentially when I get to Cynthia. That's why I like it here. I get to battle tough characters like you. You are a weird man. No one loves you. Uh, we'll have uh, Lancelot in front as our... Try to level him up a little bit. Oh, it is the exit. There's probably plenty of trainers back down there. And probably plenty of trainers up ahead, too. Three waterfalls! Why do you need three waterfalls? To punish people with. And it's a big ol' frickin' building. It's a literal cathedral. It doesn't matter if it, the going is slow, nor does it matter if it many challenges it takes. I'm never giving up. Not until I beat the Elite Four. Heal my Pokemon, please. We'll probably buy more Super Potions to... Like, heal in between Elite Four members. How about you? What are you doing here? Where's the Pokemon League? Don't take my word for it. Take the challenge and experience it for yourself. Ah, this is where you get all the balls. All right. Definitely need more super potions. Do, 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 do. I guess, uh, five more hyper. Wait, no, not full restores. Now, don't need that many revives. If I need that many revives, dear God. More full heals, though. Just in case they throw status effects around like candy. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Barry. You gonna fight me? Hold it, don't go off without me! You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here, too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. All the people are like, please don't fight here. This is not built for fighting. Finally, somebody with six. Staraptor, huh? That's not going to help you against my Steel Water Lancelot. Surf! Oh, actually, close combat is a counter. You fuck. You got a crit too, didn't you? Nope, that's just that super effective. I just completely forgot that you could also have close combat. Did I get a crit? Or did that just kill you in one hit? What? Okay. Sure. I feel like that should have healed more, but oh well. Now you're gonna send out your Torterra. I'm gonna send out my Nova. Your Star Raptor, my Star Raptor. Nice level Torterra. And I'm not gonna be dumb enough to use Brave Bird. I'm gonna Aerial Ace you to death. Maybe use Fly if you're super scary. That's about where the, like, the last Torterra I hit with Brave Bird went in terms of health. Not bad damage for a not very uh, effective attack. I don't think your Torterra has ever fought my Empoleon, except for, like, the first time, where it was your Tortwig versus my Piplup. And now you're going to send out a Floatzel. I'm going to send out my my amp. Barry is just like, you type advantage piece of shit. He's like, come on, Barry. I didn't swap out my Empoleon when you had your Star Raptor out, mostly because I was an idiot, but you didn't take advantage of it too well. Spark. How dare you use Crunch? How dare you crunch my amp? However, am I going to make sick beats? get blasted. It's a good thing that I healed. Then again, who would, like, oh dear god, I just thought, there's probably a challenge out there that's like, 
a no Pokemon Center run. Where you only heal with uh, potions and stuff. That would be a nightmare. All right. Hello, Snorlax, you big beefy bastard. Close combat time. Oh, yeah, I just realized why that Staraptor probably died really quick. It used close combat, lowered its defense, and then got hit by uh, a Surf. Or was it a Waterfall? I forget. Bye-bye, Snorlax. <laughs> Small ant. <laughs> I've seen some of his, or like some, uh, buh buh buh. What's the word I'm trying to think for? Uh, some shorts from, or at least that feature small ant and his adventures. I don't think I've ever watched an actual video from him. How would you use Will-O-Wisp, you bastard? Burn is an evil! Because if I remember correctly, Burn also halves attacks, which is evil. And I'll level up for Lancelot. And you're gonna send out Heracross, which is fighting Bug, which means that Nova is eating tonight. Take pride, Barry. You almost knocked out my Empoleon because I was an idiot. I fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. Uh, you have every reason to freak out. I have six Pokemon still. And this is four times die. Bye-bye, Heracross. I almost feel sorry for you, Barry. You're a Wally. My team just went down. My team my team needs to be training. I did not read that good at all. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it! You watch it, though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the champion. The toughest trainer. Neon, you better not lose to anyone before me. I don't... I actually, no, I think I did white out once. But I forget. Now time for the Elite Four. If I'm smart, I should be able to make it through. Well, let's see. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let us examine the gym badges you gather from Sinnoh. Oraberg City's Coal Badge. Eterna City's Forest Badge. Hearth Home City's Relic Badge. Veilstone City's Cobble Badge. Pastoria City's Fin Badge. Canalave City's Mine Badge. Lots of, like, rock-related badges in here. Snowpoint City's Icicle Badge. And Sunny Shore's Beacon Badge. Or is it Sunny Shore? Because it's only one in. Also, I just realized, like... Very well, trainer. You've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power they brought you here and go for glory. But yeah, like, if they have this check to make sure that you have all the badges, why have things like the HMs? Just have people stand there and be like, ah, you, you fool. Let's see if I can glean what type you are. All right, I think you're gonna be Grass and Bug. Nova, I think you're the one that's gonna be mopping up today. Go ahead and trick me. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here? It's because I just want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Hello, Aaron. I don't think I've ever seen you before. You are not a fan favorite. <laughs> From my time using walkthrough walls, that badge check is hard-coded. I would bet so. Destroy the Onmega! Aerial Ace! How powerful are your bug Pokemon? How dare you survive, you bastard! Well, luckily, Aerial Ace is guaranteed to hit anyway, so... <laughs> I 
Oh, you went first? How dare you. The one downside of... Alright, that did a lot of fucking damage. What the hell? Luckily, I have heals for days. Drapion! I believe Poison Bug. So I don't think I need to fear you too much. Hmm. Eh, another Aerial Ace. Well, that's not good at all. Well, there goes Nova. Ah, Nova survived! Impressive! Well, not status healers. We don't need status healers. Hyper Potion! And then Aaron is just like, oh, you're one of those trainers. Well, close combat! Deal as much damage as you can! If, well, in that case, I probably should have just used Brave Bird. Or Fly. And that's probably gonna take you down. Maybe. Once again, back to 13 health. The real question is, why aren't you spamming... Uh... Ice Fang to whittle me down. So are you just alternating between Cross Poison and Ice Fang? I think the next Ice Fang will kill me, so fly! Huh, that is interesting. That's alternating like that. Damn it, you survived. And you used Ice Fang, which will definitely kill because I used close combat. So bye, Nova. Hmm. Then next, Lancelot. Hello, hello. I am taking on the Elite Four. Oh! Oh no, he too can heal! Damn it. I take out his Pokemon. I then heal a lot. He takes out my Pokemon. He heal a lot. Brine time! I probably should have used a revive and then healed uh, Nova. Hmm. Still at Aaron? I only just got here. I just beat Barry without losing a Pokemon, and then immediately lost a Pokemon to Aaron. Aha, Heracross. Uh, you're part steel, so we don't want you to die. Hmm. Part fighting, so we don't want to send out Shine. Huh. I guess Amp. Nuzlocke? Nope. I've yet to do a Nuzlocke. Maybe I should one day. It's just that they very much terrify me. I am a scaredy, scaredy cat of, uh, Nuzlocks. Nuzlocks are a scary thing. My brain overthinks them, and I probably get, like, attached to my Pokemon, and I make a lot of mistakes. Maybe one day. But then I'd also need to, like, to find a good Pokemon game to Nuzlocke. I don't think it would be Emerald. <laughs> But really, this is just part of my unofficial... That looks terrifying. Is it gonna kill? Hmm. But like... Bu -bu -bu. Back to thoughts. This is basically part of my unofficial Poke Marathon. Because I played Yellow, I think like two years ago now. Crystal, soon after that. Emerald, last year. And uh, just lots and lots and lots. Oh yeah, I've also been... A fucking course you get a critical hit, you bastard. That's so sad. I hate you. You did that, Diva. 
<laughs> For starter, probably Fire Red Leaf Green. Good to know. Yeah, that, that's so, that's evil game. How dare you? I'm gonna use close combat and then like immediately kill your Pokemon because I got a crit. No way that isn't hard coded into you, 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 you evil little oo woo bug. I did one before, but Lance flipping Gyarados. Can only imagine. You're just spamming your close combat. At least you're gonna run. Well, I forget. Is this one of those games that doesn't have power points for like the AI? Also, I mismathed in my head, so yeah, he did like exactly half my health. Alright, please fly. And then you will die. Not to mention, also doesn't Lance have like technically illegal uh Dragonite? How technically he Dragonite should not exist on his team with what it is. Vespa Queen, I do not think I fear you. I don't know if you're dual type. You might just be bug. Fly! Get quick claw flied, Vespa Queen. You look like a Lego piece. Defend order? What? What'd that do? Ah, boost your defense and special defense. Well, get flied on. And another defend order. That's not good. Well, I think I'll use another fly to try and deal as much damage as possible. That isn't Brave Bird. I don't want to take uh, recoil damage. Oh, and heal order. You can heal, you guy. Maybe I should have Brave Bird. And now Power Gym, which is probably going to blast you away. Oh, we survived. Very well. Brave Bird, kill it now! I want to guarantee this thing dead. And a critical hit. Ah, uh, but that means Nova doesn't get any of the experience either. I am a fool. And we don't even know what's going to be out there last. I'll send out Lancelot. Oh, hey, Steel type. This works, I think, maybe. Waterfall. You'd think that water would do good against Steel. Then again, I also begrudge Steel for being uh, defensive against... Uh, Psychic. So what do I know? I still joke that it has to do with tinfoil hats. It's not over yet. A League Elite Four cannot give up. I think it would be very embar- I was gonna brine you to death! Oh, it would have been beautiful. Oh, did I get a crit? That's funny. We basically put him back right where he was. That's hilarious. And Brine again. For double the power plus stab. That Drapion kicked my ass. I will now concede defeat, but I think you came out as a great... Bug type Pokemon can be. I hope you realize even you're up against the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. I have to read fast or else it's gonna go away from me. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it, back to the training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, 
Go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're tougher than me. And now, to uh, be a little bitch and uh, use a revives. I should have used some... No. I should probably save my max revives for when I really need it. This is ominous music. Do -do. Do -do. Impressive. Almost sounds like like the chorus part sounds like it should be like from Metroid or something. I do like the music in Pokemon games when they stand out. They have fun. Maybe I should have bought more spe uh, super potions. I like to keep my hyper potions for in battle. I don't know even how I'm able to get to Pastoria if only having Storaptor, Monferno, Bidoof, my HM slave, and Wooper. I forget how I got there. Let's see. If I can divine what this next one is. Because I, I did play Platinum years ago, but I remember, like, nothing. Well, I am going to assume rock and ground type. You're probably going to have uh, ways to beat my Empoleon, though, aren't you? Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but, you're so, but you've also got a spine. Ha <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? I'm going to annihilate you. I have an Umbreon. You already have a Dark type. No, I don't. We shall go and check because Luxray is not a Dark type, even though it really probably should be. Like if we go to Pokemon, we have Steel Water, Dark, Steel Fighting, Psychic, Flying, Electric. Everybody thinks that it's uh, Electric Dark. It's just Electric. Welcome to the Pokemon. Nothing makes sense. Hmm. I'm gonna use my... I wonder, will the water ground cancel out or what? Let's see. Ah, it cancels out. <laughs> Is this a Mandela effect? Could be. Wait, did that Wish Cash just not do anything? All Earth Power's gonna hit the steel type of you, aren't is it? Yep. Is that gonna kill? No, it doesn't. We need to brine you to death. Be gone! You slutty bitch! They always heal at the most inopportune time for me. Well, very well. Um, Nova. Don't you screw me, Whizcash. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. Aerial Ace! This might be slow. And then use Aqua Tail. But this should go good overall. If you survive, I'm going to heal up my boy. Of course you choose to die then, you jerk. But a level up for Nova. And you're gonna send in a golem. I'm gonna send in Silas, because I can, and we'll close combat. Well, no, we should save close combat for when we really need it. We will Aura Sphere you, though. Or a sphere! No back sitting? Uh, preferably no back sitting. Unless it's like. Like, hey, be aware of a glitch. Then out of the. Basically. You could, like, try to explain, like, hey, I might want to help you in this way. Would you like me to give more information? But overall, I prefer to not have back sitting. Let's 
see. Moror Sphere, I don't think it'll work against Groundwell. Nope. You're probably gonna uh, ground move and utterly annihilate Silas. Goodbye, Silas, my ground my my ground. My glass cannon. I guess I'll send out Shine to be a tank. Just ever so slightly. We will heal Lancelot. And then battle down a bit with Shine. Well, ain't you a bastard? Do -do 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 -do. Fight attack! And used Earthquake again. How dare you. Does a decent amount of damage. He'll probably fall asleep next turn because the world is evil. Yep. In which case, I'm just going to fast forward to <laughs> try and get through this as fast as possible. Oh, hey! Nice. And Nom, and that'll get rid of you. Now the question is, who do I want to send out next? Unless you die to the sandstorm, which either way. One health! You gonna send out Rhyperior? I should try. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Probably Lancelot. I would try to send out Silas if he wasn't gone. Surf! Try and knock him down heavily, and then we can brine him to death. Come on! You're in brine range, my dude. Unless you just want to die. He just wants to die! He just wants to die. It's a happy day. And then Gliscor. Hmm. I forget. Is it ground flying or something? I know that you're a funky little fucker. And you have Earthquake and you go first, and that's painful. Remember as the world goes to hell. Draw remember to hydrate. Wow, you're gonna get one shot as well? Ha ha! Screw you, Gliscor! Your earthquake means nothing to me! How? How? I do not know! I just get lucky! My Lancelot, he's a bi icon. Well, dear child, I must say that you're most impressive. Your Pokemon believe in you and you did their best to earn your the win. Even though I'm lost, I find myself with this silly grin. I have to read fast or they just go away. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. <laughs> I think you can go as far as you want. Whew. Oh, I forgot to use the rare candies. I'm an idiot. Really, I should probably just use a Hyper Potion on you. Because you're just, like, that injured. Now, Super Potion on Nova should probably just use Hyper Potion on everybody else. And then once we get to Cynthia, I should use my Max Revives with Impunity. I haven't even used Amp yet, I don't think. There we go. Map, map. Uh, another hyper potion, just because we can speed things up a little bit. And let's see. Is there anybody who is like no progress on their leveling whatsoever? So definitely not 
you. Eh, uh, you're too far along. Don't want to waste it. Uh, I guess we'll wreck candy you once. Wreck candy. Well, hmm. I don't know why. I just never really have much want to use wreck candy. So, yeah, I think I'll hold off on using them. Probably a bad idea. I also, hmm, maybe save just because I can. Here I thought we'd get, like, uh, saving lots of data. Very well. Who is next up this elevator? Also, these are lots of elevators. This must this place must be very, very tall. And it was just a cathedral. Fire, huh? Aside, I wonder how that will interact with the steel of Lancelot. Hmm. Otherwise, I don't think, aside from maybe Silas, that we're in that bad. Hmm. But I remember you. You wanted to get Volkner back up and running. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner that what you did in Sunny Shore. Or is it Sunny Shore? You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me. Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns. Let me guess, you're probably also going to have a few ground-type moves mixed in. That'll literally annihilate me. Oh, hey, that wouldn't have been bad to, uh... Well, maybe. It's a fire type, so... Could have potentially annihilated... You use Sunny Day, you bitch. That's gonna power up all your shit. But he wouldn't have been terrible to fight against with, uh... The boy. Silas. Let's see. Will my water counteract the steel? The fact there are only two far type available to capture in platinum, but have a, uh, a fire elite four. Of course you get a critical hit, you utter bastard. Critical hit, Sonny. Buh, buh, buh. Utter bullshit. Hate you. You're gonna die. Or a sphere. I probably should have close combated you just to speed things up, but I don't have that many elixirs. Critical hit and platinum is no joke. Except for my critical hits, they only happen when the enemy was gonna die in one hit anyway. You're gonna send out a Flareon, huh? You know what? I'm gonna joke. I'm gonna send out Shine. I'll revive the boy again. Or maybe I should fight you out. Then again, you're a Flareon, the worst one. Okay, good. You missed, you monster. Dare you use Will-O-Wisp like a criminal? And you land the Will-O-Wisp. I'll definitely fight it out now. Well, then again, maybe we shouldn't. Actually, you know what? Now that you're gonna... I'm just gonna use one of my uh, full heals. Because screw you. Burn is evil, cutting my attack in half. And overheat. I remember that being evil. And that's powered up by a sunny day. And another critical hit to call you. You know what? No. No. Bad. Bad you. Bad getting crits. No! No! Quit getting crits, that is illegal here! I was half expecting that bloody <laughs> quick attack to also crit. <laughs> and another will o wisp! I'm. Okay. <laughs> You are heathen. You are evil. How dare you? And you're gonna overheat again, I guess? If you crit again, I'm gonna be very annoyed.
And I'm gonna sand attack you. <laughs> Stab Sunny Day Overheat. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna keep Sandy to attack you. I'll do it one more time for three overall. And then I'll start biting away at you, because I hate you. Well, actually, I'm gonna heal, and then I'll start stabbing you. And if still, of course, you still land the Will-O-Wisp, which is illegal in 50 states. I hate you. You're ugly. I'm just gonna speed up ever so slightly. At least your special attack keeps going down. So now that overheat does nothing. But really, it's the frickin' the burn that's taking away half my attack because of its status effect that's annoying me the most. I did three sand attacks, and you still hit me with everything in them. At least that one missed, and that's the one I want to miss the most. Good, a quick attack miss as well. I nom on you eternally. That critical overheat annoyed me. What you gonna send out next? An Infernape, eh? Fighting fire, I believe. Watch it just be fire and I'm an idiot. Also, I finally saw an Infernape. Is that gonna one-hit? That'd be sad if it one-hit. It is Sunny Day. And hit of recoil. And fucking burned! That should be illegal. You're gonna live, aren't you? You're gonna fucking live. Okay, no, you died. Haha! -ha, I get the critical hit now. I am the captain now. I am the critical captain now. I am Captain Pikachu. Die. You're gonna send in a Rapidash, or I'm gonna send in my boy Lancelot. Surf. What are you doing? A oh no. You're gonna use a solar beam, aren't you? Because that is what that's meant to be, right? And of course you survive! Ah! Motherfucker! Well, at least it wasn't super effective. That, that's actually kind of... You did two turns just to do that? I thought it was gonna do so much more! <laughs> that's, yeah, I was like, yeah, Twitch chat says shit, solar beam, sunny day, and it did nothing! What?! I am offended! On your behalf! Hello, Magmorta. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. Why do you have fun about you, shit? <laughs> Solar Beam doesn't need to get charged when there's sunny day. Oh, then I guess the... Then I guess, uh... I don't know. And you survive with one hit, you whore! Ah, uh, you're gonna heal yourself anyway. I mean, no matter what I do, he's just gonna thunder me again. So it doesn't matter. This situation is heating up. I'm blazing now. Well, he'll probably heal his Pokemon, so... Surf. Oh. I should have healed then. I thought I was gonna be... I was gonna be big brain. I was gonna be big brain, but rather I'm small brain. Well, let's see. Uh, amp, I guess, because of that fucking. Wait, you're probably you probably have something like bulldoze or something. Don't you probably have earthquake, don't you? Uh, I guess spark because I can. Bye bye. I don't believe it. I lost. I didn't take you for granted. 
I didn't expect you to win. I never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. Whew, burnt right down to cinders. Ay, 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 ay. Well, one more Elite Four, and then Cynthia, I believe. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of that burn as well. Need to remember that. Let's see. Da, da, da. Well, I guess I could use a full restore, because I'm... Nah, but I should use that in, like, actual battle. Oh, I have a burn heal. I, was, <laughs> I don't know where my, like, super duper babri ba was. <laughs> Elite floor. <laughs> Like, there has to be, like, floor-based Pokemon that some Elite Four member has used in the past. And then we also need to heal up my dear boy, Shine. So that we can go on and beat them all up. As always, save as well. My Pokedex has launched into the stratosphere with the amount of Pokemon I've been seeing in this Elite Four Hell. Alright. Unless Cynthia is the final of the Elite Four, but I don't think so. Nope, it's this guy. I have no idea what you are. I have no idea what you do. I guess Shine will be our sacrificial lamb. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I am a fair user of the psychic type. I must say you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. You're probably going to annihilate my po Oh, you're a girl? I I'm terribly sorry. Then again, I guess that voice could still fit for you. Or maybe you're just a... Just... That Bishi. Well, at least it means that you're um, I'm immune to most of your stuff, but you probably have, like, stuff to deal with dark types, because that's what the Elite Four is all about. Haha! Oh boy, critical hit for me! Yay! That rarely happens when I need it! Gallade, I'll keep out. Well, that's gonna hurt a lot. Damn you. Super hurt a lot. And you're not even... You're a bitch is why you are. Hmm. Hmm. Amp, get out here! What typing are you that you... You're fighting psychic, aren't you? That's how you manage to not get critical or, like, uh, super effective. You have a citrus berry because you all have citrus berries. All right, I'll spark you again. Probably heal Amp and then heal Shine. Unless I want to get a crit and kill you. Of course you get a critical hit, you fucking bastard. Well, then I guess I should send Indigo out, because Psychic Fighting shouldn't be able to do much to another Psychic type. I'll go ahead and get Shine back into working order. Then I'll revive Amp, because those Dark-type moves will come in handy. Of course you use a full restore, too. You cheatsy bastard. All 
How much damage that do? Quite a lot, actually. Psychic! Because you're part fighting type, so this should equalize into normal. And you're just gonna spam Stone Edge, huh? Alright, well. I guess it makes sense. You would want to have a move to deal with a Psychic type coming at you. Indigo will go down, Amp will come out, and we'll blast him a bit. Then again, maybe... But Stone Edge is rock, so that won't avoid that. <laughs> Props to my Eevee for surviving 1 HP, defeating the Pokemon that was already out, and 1 hit KOing the SP on the next turn. The true Patriot Eevee we all long for. Now you get paralyzed! Ah, and it actually goes through, too. Suck it. Bastard. And once again, the critical hit, that is useless to me. And you're gonna send out Bronzong, which is... Steel... Psychic... I believe a good one would be Lance... Wait. Steel Psychic. That would be perfect for Amp, then. The Bronzong line has always confused me because it feels like attacks that should do good damage just don't. And I hate it. It's just normal. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Moves that should do super damage just don't for some reason against this bastard, and I hate him. It's just like, hey, I'm immune to so many things. I don't take much damage towards nothing. And they uh, hit you. And you have Earthquake. Why do you have Earthquake? That is illegal, you fucking bastard. You are Steel-type! You should be lightning to death! You are horrible, you are terrible, nobody loves you. Go to hell. Ah, right, you're gonna send out an Espeon. Time for my Umbreon to come back in and play. I highly doubt that you have anything to really schmackaroonie me with, so... I'll use this opportunity to heal up, uh, Amp, so that Amp can hopefully come in and crunch and bite some things if needed. Why is that super effective? What is Signal Beam? Seriously, what is Signal Beam? And you do it again. Can we get... Signal Beam, what even are you? What even are you? I feel like it's super effective against everything that hits. Please get through the confusion. God damn it. I hate you so much. Confusion is just an annoying goddamn status effect. I hate it so much. It should be illegal to hit yourself twice in a row with it. Ugh. Quit wasting my time. Well, at least it looks like you're out of signal beam now. Never mind, you just decided to use that for some reason? Why? Why'd you use a, a shadow ball? What? Did the AI freak out? You know what? Sure, we'll send an amp because shine has just been annihilated. While the Espeon makes no sense, remember to stay hydrated. Hmm, now what should I do? Die! 
crunch. Man, I wish the Luxray was... Okay, that just was normal amount of damage, apparently. And you survive of 1 HP! Oh! And you used a full restore. I should have used Crunch again. And you're gonna... Oh no, you're gonna use a Focus, focus Blast. Uh... If I send out Shine, I feel like Shine's just gonna die. So, Sacrificial Nova... Well, Hyper Potion Shine... That's probably- oh yeah, it's probably doing a ton of damage because it's a fucking Alakazam. Quick Claw coming clutch! God damn it! And now I munch you. Please die. The one time I could use a quick claw activation. I see. You getting past the three before of me was no fluke. Once again, it just goes by too fast! Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on. Step through the doorway to your final battle. And now, to do more revives! Uh, thank you for speed up. <laughs> when I have to watch HP bars just go up. I don't know if I have any, like, normal potions, so we'll wait. Then again, that's kind of what the super potions are meant for. They serve their purpose outside of battle. So I can keep my hyper potions for battle. Right. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't remember Cynthia's team. I know that I, th I, th I think she has a Lucario. I think she has a Garchomp, Spiritoom. Do a countdown. I don't know any countdowns. I don't have a- I don't know what you're talking about with these countdowns! Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount- Thank you for Mount Coronet, and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. That means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned? I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokémon League Champion, I accept your challenge. Yeah, you begin with Spiritomb. Which is not good for me, I don't think. I do not know how to do a countdown to time with the piano. I am not intelligence. I do not know this game. How powerful is that Dark Pulse against just like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. That's what I would expect out of like... A super effective attack almost. Oh, I could have used a crit there. Are you gonna survive? I don't think you will, because that Dark Pulse last time did a ton of damage. Damn it. Well, luckily, out of everyone... I need to get rid of you, and then I should be able to hopefully set things up. Kill! You 
bitch, Cynthia. Well, nah, super effective, but not actually. Hmm. I'll just munch you to death. Haha, <laughs> keep flinching, idiot! And uh, once again, critical hit at the end. Now you're gonna send out your Lucario. I'm going to send out Indigo. Psychic! Uh, wait a minute. Hi, uh, you're part steel type, you goddamn buffoon. Ah, uh, you're only using Stone Edge. Then. That fucking damage. 69. Nice. Extreme speed all you want. Oh, wait, that's a fight move? And with 1 HP, Indigo says, fuck you. You're gonna survive 1 HP too. Okay, no good, you die. Good. I know who to use against you! Cause I have... Wait a minute, he- oh, you're a ground type and you have uh, a dragon pulse! I'm a fool. I got tunnel vision. I got tunnel vision and I'm a fool. Fly. And quick claw. That's kind of scary. Oh boy! That works out well for me. Hmm. Do I care to revive you? Fool. What I should do is maybe heal up, uh. Because I have max revives, so. Probably heal you up. I'm gonna send you out now. Surf! Oh, yeah, you're also steel type. Well, excuse me for feeling like. My water type should do, uh, counteract. The steel, just ever so slightly. I feel like that should be a thing. Let's see. Max revives. Honestly, Nova... I'm gonna... Nah, but Silas, though. But I don't know if he's gonna be good against anybody coming up. I don't know your team, Cynthia. I'll use this to revive him as well. Ah, you missed. Ah. Well, luckily, I can just hyper potion the boy. Speed up through the heal. some reason, you're just the perfect little tank to stall out this Garchomp right now. Never mind Giga Impact, okay? Never mind. <laughs> he did Giga Impact. He's like, wait a minute, is that gonna just utterly annihilate me for dramatic irony? Oh, it needs time to recharge! Ha ha ha, you fool! Now my team will be back to relatively good. Yes, keep wasting your time with that. No. And you use the full restore, because of course you do. You know what? Sand attack. We can play this fun little game called Laming the Fuck Out.
Oh, of course you get a critical hit, you bastard. Nova! Oh, of course, what, what do you mean I missed? You jerk of a game. The only one who should be missing is that guard charm. Ah, you missed. Then I shall use more revive. Because screw you. Haha, <laughs> you missed a giga impact. Does that mean that you also have to uh, go through the whole recharging thing again? That'd be hilarious. Nope. For some reason, a missed giga impact means you can just do whatever. Because you dare to heal. Aha, you missed, idiot. Uh, it's nice that when the sand sand attack comes in clutch. I wanted to use dragon pulse on you so badly. But no, you're a ground type as well. It's like they wanted to bait you into using Lucario. And you're gonna send in a Togekiss, which I believe is normal flying. You better not have any ground-based moves, you fucking flying hat. And you're level 60. Ah, right, go first. Die. Would be hilarious if that was a crit and one hit killed. Damn it. Or a sphere! Well, it's against an electric type, so it shouldn't do too much. Don't you dare get a crit on me, though. Good. <laughs> if it got a crit after I called for a crit from my part, I would've been angry. Do 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 do. And who's next on the line? Uh, melodic. Just water? Then actually, we should keep you out. You're probably going to have something to fuck up my electric day, though, aren't you? Unless I kill you! Now, what are you going to do? Sir, shouldn't do too much. And I'll take you out to the ball game. Now all that's left is your Lucario. But yeah, really, Cynthia, you could have saved the world without me. Oh, wait, you don't... I thought you had a Lucario. I'm dumb. I'm a big dumb. Well, that just means that... Uh, hmm. Well, Nova, please don't die. I'll have to sacrifice some people to get you back up the up the par. For some reason, I can't remember the last time I was put into a corner like this. Also, does that mean that your ace is the Togekiss? That's interesting. And there's the one-hit KO I was looking for all the time to end out everything. That's hilarious. I did it! Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Uh, don't you mean strongest in Sinnoh? Because, uh, blah, blah, blah. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. Through the power of capitalism, I win. And you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Uh, not really calculating coolness, just uh, blind luck and uh, uh, frantic screaming. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. 
I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. We'll take the lift. I get on alone. I get up there. Barry's waiting for me. Hey, I beat the Elite Four before you somehow. Time was just really screwy because of Dialga. <laughs> The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Hey, Rowan. Neon, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Neon, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Neon, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. This is really a fancy Hall of Fame. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time. Neon, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. I do kind of like that it's designed like a healing diddly D from a Pokemon Center. Nova Staraptor! Lancelot Empoleon! Indigo Gardevoir! Silas Lucario! Shine Umbreon! Amp Luxray! And then there's me! Spread the confetti! Huzzah! Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Saving. Do not turn off the power. Huzzah! Like always, all, like with all tough battles, capitalism won the day in the world of Pokemon. Are you sure you're not saving a lot of data? That feels like you're saving a lot of data. You're not saying it, game. How dare you. And I do believe that that will be that for Pokemon Platinum. I do know that there's at least some kind of post-game, but uh, Emerald really put me off Pokemon post-games. <laughs> I don't like super-duper difficult post-games. I like ones that have, like, content. Now, post-game stream on Saturday? Probably not. I'm not a... I might look into, like, what the post-game is. But, like, uh, the post-game has just never been for me in a lot of Pokemon games. But I shall give my thoughts on Pokemon Platinum. As a main, like, uh, the main game, not counting the post-game because I don't know it, I think it's really good. I think it's a really fun time. I Like, aside from the lack of fire types, which I just didn't even notice all that much. Like, the music's cool. The graphics are really nice in how they, like integrate, like, 3D just slightly. <laughs> to be fair, 90% of the post-game requires Sinnoh decks filled. <laughs> so even if it was, even if I was continuing it, I'd have to do lots of grinding off-stream. But yeah, like, the music, the graphics are nice, the sprites were nice. The story, I think, was... Hmm. It's hard to say. I think... Like, so far, there's been two 
more grounded, oh, you fight Team Rocket stories in Generation 1 and Generation 2. And then Generation 3 was a save the world plot, but didn't really feel that good. Like, Generation 3 didn't really feel like it had all that much of a story. So, when it comes to, ooh, save the world plots, Generation 4's, like, Platinum is probably the best. Because I like how it integrates the legendaries here. Because, like, sure, the legendaries were integrated in Generation 3. But, like, Team Magma, Team Aqua, they aren't, like, all that interesting or cool. Until Oras. Oras really made them cool. But Cyrus is kind of interesting in his nihilism, almost. Team Galactic is kind of silly at overall, but I think Cyrus is cool. But, like, again, I like how it integrates pretty much all the legendaries that this, this like, region is known for. Like, they gather the Lake Trio to create the chain, and then synthetically create another chain, like, <laughs> like it's DNA, to chain time and space. And then, boom, a third legendary was introduced to Garatina. Again, kind of like <laughs> Generation 3 Hoenn. But, personally... I think I like Platinum better than Emerald. What is Saturday's stream? Probably... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity! Yes! <coughs> Black and White will come later, probably. Because, like, when it comes to other Pokemon games, I need to, like... Because, who knows, maybe I want to jump back into a Ranger game, but definitely, definitely Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity! The most definitely. That'll be next time, which definitely means I need to hurry up and draw my team. <laughs> the partner and hero of Gates to Infinity. <laughs> but like... Yeah, I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed Platinum. It wasn't as difficult as Emerald was. And I think Barry is an... Oh, that, look at the art. The art there is nice. I really like this, like, uh, this credit sequence. It's been cool. But yeah, I like the Lake Trio. I like Giratina, Palkin, Dialga. If only the Azure Flute had stayed, then it would have been, like, super duper good. But yeah, just, I really, really like Platinum. Apparently, I heard, like, uh, I've heard that, like, uh, Diamond and Pearl are kind of meh, but Platinum really fixed things. And I can definitely feel that. Platinum feels very good. If I had any, like, critiques, really the only one would be, give me Riolu faster. Riolu is a very, like, iconic Pokemon for Generation 4. So I feel like it would have been, like, cooler if you could have had, like, a Riolu and then a Lucario throughout the majority of the adventure. I think that would have been just a little bit nicer. But otherwise, no real complaints. It's just a very solid mainline Pokemon game. Once again... When it comes to mainline Pokemon games, Legends Arceus is still my favorite. And when it comes to Pokemon games or games in general, Explorers of Sky will forever take the top spot. It's just like, just so, so good. Explorers of Sky is just so good. But yes, next time, Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be beginning our Gates to Infinity playthrough. And I know only very, very little bit of Gates to Infinity. Very, very little bit. No next to nothing about it. And I do know that, like, they removed scaling basic attack, which uh, hurts. But I don't know much about it, and I've only ever played the demo once, and only a little bit, a long time ago. So I cannot wait to give it a shot. I do know that people kind of ragged on Gates to Infinity in light of that it just can't stack up to Explorers of Sky. 
but I'm definitely going to give it a clean slate start. I'm going to take it as itself and basically say, as long as it tells me a story that I feel emotional about, I will like it and give it a fair shot. Gameplay just needs to be smooth enough to tell a good story with cool characters. What device is Gates on? 3DS. And uh, hopefully the testing I've done should mean that it shouldn't be a terrible recording experience, but then at the same time, uh, it's... Uh... Funnily, this kind of uh, l combines with uh, the funny funny thing, where recently Nintendo sued the dev team behind Yuzu, a Switch emulator. And apparently, if everything is, like, what I've heard is true, they actually kind of deserve to be sued because they were tacitly not only endorsing piracy by, uh, not too long ago, essentially selling early access builds of their emulator to better play a leaked pirated version of Tears of the Kingdom, where basically, hey, subscribe to their Patreon, you get early builds of the emulator that plays a game like a big, big game that isn't even officially released yet. And it's already bad enough that they were updating their emulator to better be optimized for a leaked game like that, but they were essentially selling it, and that was very bad. It's already kind of skeevy that they had Metroid Dread emulation ready day one for their emulator. Already a little bit skeevy there, but to basically... Not even basically, literally profit off of and support piracy like that was already bad. Add on top of how apparently the dev team were sharing around a Google Drive of ROMs. Yeah. So... From the looks of things, they're going to be forced to pay $2.4 million and shut down any further development of Yuzu and, sadly, Citra, the 3DS uh, emulator. And as far as I can tell, the only really advanced and good uh, 3DS emulator. Luckily, I think it was far enough along that most main games should be decent enough with some tweaking, some settings tweaking, and from my minor little, just like, look away and listen to the boot up intro of Gates to Infinity and listen for any sound hitches, uh, and while looking at the frame rate, it shouldn't be terrible for us to stream and record Gates to Infinity. Just hope that other people can enter the emulation scene and make a good 3DS emulator now that Yuzu team just completely fucked around and found out. Yeah. But, yes. Next time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday, shall be Gates to Infinity, unless things happen. If things happen, then uh, there might not be. If I don't start streaming around 5, things happened. Yeah. But yes, yes, I will try to finish my art for that to draw my team. And next time, Gates to Infinity, and I hope it's good. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, has links to all the things that I do, like edited content YouTube videos, streaming to YouTube and Twitch, uploading all these streams and hopefully decent quality to my streaming YouTube channel. So if you want to watch my Mass Effect Trilogy playthrough, my Pokemon Rescue Team or Explorers of Sky playthroughs. <laughs> Can you post download for ROM for those who wish to play along? No! I'm not going to be sued by Nintendo by distributing ROMs! Like, even like, like, even in a ha-ha-ha, no, like, no way. I am never, ever, ever going to upload a ROM for other people to download. <laughs> it's just like, I am not going to put myself at risk like that and tacitly support piracy like that. He's like, I'm just, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. It's sure, it's like, it's annoying that, like, the 3DS is deprecated, it's hard to get those games and stuff, but it's just like... I just can't do that. 
I can't do that. It's bad. It's an evil thing. Brain. Yes, back to the link tree. Because yes, I upload all the stuff to the, the VODs, to the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And then other such things, I upload art to the various art sites and social medias that still exist and might not exist in the future. The internet is a scary place right now. But uh, various arts. Well, I'll definitely upload, like, the standalone art of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity team once the art is drawn and the stream done. Like, it's not even gonna be that much of a surprise because Gates to Infinity doesn't have a quiz, so I can just select the Pokemon I want. Though I am annoyed that apparently they got rid of the option to choose your gender in Gates to Infinity. For some reason. Well, Gates to Infinity, in Japan you can do that. Everywhere else they took it out for some reason. Because game developers, well, not game developers, but Nintendo outside of Japan is weird, I guess. Hmm. But otherwise, other things, writing, I do writing, I write stories, and there are some links to my writing in my link tree as well. And then overall as well is my Patreon, where if you want to donate, be kind, and are in a good place financially to be able to do so, it is just a little donation bucket where people can throw some dollary dues my way if they so choose to. But yes, but yes, I am trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, keep to a schedule. Next time will be Gates to Infinity, and I hope to have fun with it. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. See you next time. Bye. Bye.